Let's go, German Chad. Welcome to deine kleine Nacht music to all my followers. That's all I got. I don't know. I mean, uh, Bastian Schweinstager. Hey, Lockin. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. I get it. Lock in, or is that just your name? You see the guy named Paul Tyson, and then Mike Tyson tweeted, like, I'm gonna kill this guy, hashtag Paul Tyson, because he's fighting Jake Paul. And then Paul Tyson said, Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. He's got it ready to go. Look at that. A little bit of Twitter discourse this morning, lighthearted. Mom, come pick me up. People are becoming members of the Apologista for Trains Drops of Jupiter. People are posting uh, the lyrics to the song out of context and then saying, come on, this makes my eyes water every time. I'm not, I'm not saying it's good that you like songs. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't like that song because I think that it's bad. But if you like it, that's great. The more love that there is in the world, if a, as Tommy Wiseau said, if a lot of people loved each other, the world would be a better place. Sure, I'll hit you with a little bandle earlier. Why not? We're going to do some balatro afterwards. I just, I, like, when the people were saying, like, the best soy latte that you've ever had in me, and they're posting it, like, come on, bro, this songwriting speaks for itself, and I'm like, in my opinion, you are right, but not, we're, we've come to an awful conclusion, the opposite conclusion, I should say. Balatro and Cola, yippee. I did like when people said, though, it's not even in the top three worst train songs. And I was like, there's no way that could be true. But then I'm like, I mean, Hey Soul Sister is, is horrible. And Meet Virginia is definitely, like, close to the worst. So, like, I don't know. There, there might be another train song that edges out Drops of Jupiter. Okay, do we have... You, you can hear. Okay, it's 2017. 8.4 billion! Everybody on Earth has listened to this 10 times. It's got the millennial hand clap, bro. I, I don't know it yet. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that those, those chords are, they're evoking something for sure. Let's go one more. Ah, is this Despacito? Yes, it's Despacito. <laughs> it's free. It's a free space. Like a Spanish Spanish sausage dog chasing a pea. What is what does that mean? Slow, like a Spanish slow, like a Spanish sausage dog chasing a pea. I would like to not have diarrhea, but then I need some medicine for gonorrhea. Is it something like that? Despacito means slowly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, but like. I'm more talking about the other 99.9% .9 of the sentence. We're going again, huh? Let's 
like a Spanish sausage dog chasing a pia. <laughs> it's a literal translation of the lyrics. When you say literal translation, is it like something was lost in the trans? Like it went from analogy to, in English, literal, and thus has lost all meaning? Or do you mean it is literally a direct translation? Yes, a metaphor was lost. Okay, I understand then. I know what you're talking about. Sofia Coppola translated Despacito. Yo, is that real, chat? Is that real? Sofia Coppola translate, Dude, and Baby Gronk just rizzed up Livy, dude. Livy done. Baby Gronk just rizzed. Who's the one people keep asking me about? Hey, NL, how do you feel about Turkish Quandro Dingle or whatever? That's, that's the one Gen Z meme I'm not familiar with right now. The Riz Party? I'm not familiar with that. I'm not familiar with Turkish Quandale Dingle. <clears throat> I'm not a Dingle head. Lost in Translation, kind of a crazy Spike Jones diss track. Listen, I know, I, honestly, I, I don't hold this against people who don't like Lost in Translation. If you didn't like Lost in Translation and you saw it in 2003, then your soul is not reaching heaven. If you watched, if you weren't alive in 2003 and you watched Lost in Translation in like 2017 or something like that, I can understand not being able to put yourself in the place and time to, to find yourself relating to the movie. Now, I mean, like, it's not like it was you know, only one dude was traveling to Japan in the year 2000, but it was kind of like, it's a, it, it's a different story, you know? Most people, when they went on like a family vacation or they traveled from work, they went from like Peoria to Springfield or something like that. They weren't going like New York City to Shinjuku, you know? So it's a, it, back then it was like a little, it was like visiting like a, a an alien planet with all the lights and the glass towers and the, and the billboards and the public transportation and stuff. Anyway, if you didn't like if you didn't like it at the time, you're lost. If you didn't like it now, that's you know it's the same reason I don't really like Battleship Potemkin. You doing Jokerless today? So the title of the stream is "We're Saving Jokerless for Another Day." Let me guess. Not a big Lost in Translation fan. Why are you talking about Gen Z like they're all little kids? I'm 26. Gen Z, when when anyone complains about Gen Z not working, um, half of Gen Z is literally in middle school right now. Gen Z, when anyone complains about Gen Z's purchasing habits causing some businesses to become defunct, um, we're literally 26 years old. Sorry, I just... I, I went through it as a millennial myself. I'm just saying, like, you're not the first person to experience this. We're all real people here. Recycled bit? You're, you don't understand. It's a meta commentary because you're recycling my bit from 15 years ago when millennials were in the same position. And the crazy thing is, I know I'm plagiarizing myself. You think you had an original thought. That's the difference between you and me. Okay, we're going we're gonna to riz up. Maybe, it's, maybe today's the day to riz up the plasma deck a little bit. I still don't know how to play it, but... We'll figure it out. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine o'clock rock. Seven, eight, ten. <laughs> Twelve o'clock rock. I don't know. That motherfucker did not know how to tell time. You asked me two things about the big bopper. Died in a plane crash. Couldn't read a clock. And I'll tell you that for free. Am I crazy to think that this is kind of insane in, uh, in a plasma deck? It's all chips, right? As long as we, like, never discard, this is going to chip us up to the freaking gills. Normally, like, I wouldn't be stoked because it's eternal, but... Holy cow, that's 12,000 points, bro. That's crazy. I don't even want another disc. I don't want any of this garbage. It's very good for the first four or five antis. Ah... Uh... Five, six years ago, I could have come up with a joke for that, but I'm just not sure I got that kind of processing power anymore. Just, just, let's skip the middle, man. Can you just plus two? 
Upgrade high card by, by three levels? It's pretty easy to play a pair, but that is like 30 extra chips. Don't even worry about the malt. And then let me just try something here. What does high card look like? Looks like 11,000 points. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, if you weren't eternal, you would have the mandate of heaven. But because you are eternal, you do not have the mandate of heaven. All right. Now, econ is sorted. It's time to get this under control. I just... I, listen, you give chips. My personal opinion, I've, I've not looked at the patch notes. I think Square Joker needs a little buff. Me personally. Why? I'm not even talking about its score. I'm talking about the, the scaling four chips per hand is annoying. And also constantly having to play four is like a mental debuff that I don't want to subject myself to. So I always just skip it these days. Sorry. It's the way of the world, man. It's the way of the damn world. Now, honestly, we can start building better than high card. High card's doing work for us. Maybe one day we'll want four of a kind. How about, uh, how about some more chippies, man? How about some more chippies? Nah, it's good. Yeah, but like, to what end? You know what I mean? Certainly not as good as this. Sorry to say. I, I, I mean, I know that we're on black stake here, so they're like, check out our sick eternal jokers but i'm just me personally i'm not that in interested in bad eternal jokers although i will say yesterday i i recorded a run on my first shop with zero jokers i got an eternal riffraff creates two common jokers Ooh, tempting creates two common jokers uh every blind i was pogging it helped me win and then in Endless, I was like, God, I wish I could get rid of this motherfucker. Bought him on the first shop, and now I can't dump him? Trying to get my fucking Yorick to pop, because I needed 27 discards on Anti-12 in order to get it to molt my molt by times five. And I'm like, I can't even get rid of Riff Raff to get some, like, buy-sell going here? Huge, huge. Okay. Threes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Doesn't really matter what we play, huh? Queens are good to Empress because we have... Uh, we might have six of them in our deck now, actually. Now that I think about it, we might have six of them. Real ones remember the weakest link. That's damn true. That's damn true. Me, age 11, yelling at some British dude who recorded the episode like 10 weeks ago that he's got a- Bro, you got a bank! Bro, you have to use your bank! Then it's like, oh, this uh, famous American chewing gum has also been the namesake for the Chicago Cubs Stadium for 112 years. And the dude goes like, um, what is Fenway? And you're like, that's why you bank, bro! Now you're back to a hundred bucks. You're answering, the answering theoretical physics questions for a hundred bucks. What is this, Quora? Okay, hang on. We get out of here. Stuntman. I honestly could not be better. Possibly one of the best jokers I could have asked for in this unique situation. It's unbelievable. It's a 92,000 point hand. It's anti-3. I played a king. Brutal. Savage. Wrecked. Mm, I, uh, I, you know what? I'll discard. You never know what this could do for us. Get that ready for the long haul. I really feel like I've leveled up in Balatro as soon as I started respecting glass cards, which previously I did not. Is a, there's a bug on the ceiling? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's not hurting anybody. Is it a spider? Yeah. 
It's Okay, bro's about to live in the vacuum. Mm. He's imprisoned. I put on the garbage disposal attachment onto the vacuum. 36 in one. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, moisturizer, exfoliator, sexual lubricant, garbage disposal, caffeine supplement. I'm going crazy on this, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm going insane. You're not gonna see much of this. This is a rare build for Plasma Deck. We're going red card. Red card into skips. I'm raining it in. I know what that's like. Hello, Sinvicta, by the way. I'm raining it in! I love too much, that's my problem. I love too much, but I'm raining it in. I'm raining it in. I'm so ready for the maestro renaissance. When people admit that maestro wasn't that good, but it wasn't as bad as it got torched for on uh, on social media, I'm so ready. It was Oscar bait? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was pretty good. Have you even seen it? I saw the first half. You can lucky two cards. Guess what, buddy? You can if you have two magician cards. Negative joke. Honestly, I'm sleeping on this. I'm, re I'm respecting where we stand at the present moment. Devil card? Why don't you take one of these? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't you take one of these? Pick cards for hologram, Sag. No, you, you see hologram all the time. You know what? I, I, I say this all the time for other content creators. Number one piece of advice. Jay, you, you can agree or disagree with this. You would think the number one piece of advice is listen to your fans. The exact opposite is actually true. The number one worst thing you can do as a Twitch streamer is listen to your fans because they don't know what they want. When I was playing a difficult game about climbing, the number one comment that I got was, we just want to see you play a good game. We don't care what it is. Now I'm playing a shitload of Balatro. People are like, we're just sick of Balatro. Sure, it's good, but we're kind of sick of it. They don't know what they want, man. All they ask for is marbles on stream. Look what you're doing to Jay. You're trying to gaslight him to play into playing five hours of marbles on stream every day. That's insane. Marbles is fun though. You you it's you are addicted to gambling, which is fine in many ways. I'm I'm doing my pivot on no longer making fun of people for getting addicted to gambling because so many people are going to be addicted to gambling in like five years that all these clips are going to age like milk. Like He's really making fun of like a devastating illness. I, I'm making fun of it because I warned you. I warned you in 2019. I warned you and nobody listened. They just said, yeah, yeah, buddy. I'm on an 11 way parlay tonight. $20 bet. And if all 11 hit, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm raining in it, I'm raining it in, people, I'm raining it in.
I'm just saying, back in my day, we used to have real gambling addicts. People would get addicted to playing slot machines where you had to manually feed like a loony into the top of it. People would get addicted to playing video poker or something like that. Just go into a casino in 1996, you would basically be saying, it's worth it. It's worth getting emphysema from the secondhand smoke. Nowadays, the Zoomers, they're not real fucking hardcore gambling addicts. You take away their phone, they'd quit cold turkey. Makes me sick, bro. Back in my day, we had real gamblers. We had people that would hitchhike from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, okay? Nowadays, you just fake-ass gambling addicts. Mm. The money line on Leafs Panthers, that's irresistible. Man, fuck you. I'm just joking. Well, it's all bad, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I can't discard. How about that? I'm going to play you because you're 50 extra chips. You never know. Now nah, we're chilling. Is that the moral of that bit? Uh, there is no moral of the bit. The moral of the bit is you don't listen to me anyway, so I can say what I please. Justice me. We will not lose this run. It's not going to happen. Mm, I mean, you're, you know what? Could be suaded. Could be suaded on that one. You think Matthews hit 70 goals? Last night wasn't their last game. <clears throat> They're on 81. I thought they were I thought they were torched. Well not torched, they qualified obviously. But when they got tonight versus Tampa. Oh Leafs, sad little Leafs. What's it like to not win your division? <laughs> it's not fair, the Atlantic is really good. Oh really? Does it have the defending Stanley Cup champions in it? <laughs> no? Oh, yes, that's right. That's the Pacific. Oh, does it have Connor McDavid in it? Oh, no, that's the Pacific as well. Who won the Pacific? Mm, little team by the name of the Vancouver Canucks just clinched it last night. With a cute little 4-1 victory over the Calgary Flames. You have the Sharks in your division, though? Yeah, um, but they did beat us once. And the Ducks? They probably beat us once, too, if I had to guess, but... Hey, but yeah, but you got the fucking Habs, bro. And the Sabres. Come on. And the Leafs, for that matter. Anyway. And the Caps. Habs aren't that bad? Come on, brother. Who's their goalie? Fucking Hap Dipperly? Red card and hologram? I was gonna leave... So, uh, on TikTok, the clips have been popping off, but now there's a TikTok backlash because my editor sometimes uh, splices out boring Balatro footage that out of context would make no sense and replaces it with his own speed runs of Dark Souls. And people are now starting riots in the comments. They're like... The, the clip is just me talking about like how Count Dracula was definitely bisexual because he was biting dudes on the neck from the behind. And then people are leaving comments that are like, I don't understand, like, just a genuine question. Why would you change the game that the video clip is from? And you're like, you really will just complain about anything. That's just, we're, we're fucking cruising. Sure, we got two jokers that are anti-synergistic. Fucking chill out, okay? You probably want to, like, exercise, but you also love sleeping. you got cognitive dissonance in your own life as well. You sort that shit out before you come here. It's not my problem. Why are you making it my problem? <clears throat> it's not like erosion and hologram. Demuju! Demuju. Come on. We're, don't, don't engage them on their terms. Engage them on our terms, okay? Hey, K Katsune Miku. Hey, Mr. Northern Lion. Here we go. I think this is my first message in chat. Wrong. Wrong. That comes with a border around that says first time chatter. My friend has made the accusation you wouldn't know what frauding is and the knowledge would break you. This is all the hallmarks of I just turned 18. 
and I think I know everything about the internet. You're not the first perverted generation. You're not the first British person I've ever spoken to in my life. What do you think? I have a child. <laughs> think, the, think knowing what frauding is would break you. Bait used to be believable, and you know what? It still is, too. It still is, people. If I had an extra slot, I'd be buying this nuts on the table, but no, we're just chilling. We'll talk about it. Let's play this. <clears throat> what should I make for dinner tonight? Jar of Rouse marinara sauce. This is not going to be a Mama Liz bit, okay? Big pot of rotini. Pound of ground beef. Cook it all up. Ready to go. Dinner for the whole family. Or, if it's a family of one, you get dinner for yourself and then eight lunches afterwards. I'm going to pop you. Just, just for one, I'm going to sell you anyway. Total cost, $11. $10 is just the rouse. And it's worth it. It's, it that's a, a store-bought pasta sauce worth splurging on. Beef's expensive these days? Yeah, you can put something else in it. Rat? You could put rad in it, maybe. Hmm. A 10. Rouse two-pack from Costco. It's, I mean, that's how we get it, but I will say, it's the only thing that we buy at Costco, where every time we buy it, I'm like, this is expensive. Most of the time, I'm like, damn, that's pretty cheap for how much you get. The Rouse, I'm like, okay. It's like two jars, $11.99, and it's right next to like the six pack of jars that's like $7.99, but you're like, okay, okay, fine. You, you've done your market research. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to do that. Hey, thank you, Kitsune Miku, for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. I feel bad now. You got me. You win. I feel the negative emotions. The guilt. You didn't feel no guilt. Or, no, but now I don't feel guilt because somebody just gifted you a subscription. Now you should feel guilty. We won. Nah. Yeah. I'm just not touching that one, but thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you very much. 20 molts? Yeah, sure, why not? Permission to swag up. Denied, denied until we win this run. You're on 39 molts. You know, at this point, at this point, I think we're on, we're on take meta to get that molt molting. Hey, E Crusher BS, thank you as well. And Servo Simp, thank you as well. Thank you. Much appreciated. And totally envy. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. But I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Thank you. These chips and malt are halved. Just for being you. You shouldn't have. Do you come with the car? Oh, you. <clears throat> you see that NBA player got banned from life for betting on his own games? Okay, I mean, listen, that is pretty bad. Hey, Unky Squeege, thank you as well for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Sorry, banned for life. <laughs> Not banned from life, sorry, sorry. Banned for life. That makes way more sense. He bet against himself. Listen, you still, like, I get it. Well, insane. I can't believe I kept hallucination. Um, you still, I mean, listen, I'm, a, I'm a, a Pete Rose apologist, perhaps because I don't know all of his, uh, 
the gambling allegations against him. But I was always like, that dude was like an amazing hitter, right? He shouldn't be banned from baseball forever just because he bet on baseball as long as he didn't bet on his own games. But if he did bet on his own games, he should be, you should be torched. He should be done. He got choke slammed by Kane. Kane, the the undead wrestler, the the under the Undertaker's brother. Even if he bets on himself to win, yeah, just could, like it's just one of those things, man. Harry Kane, the footballer, that's crazy. He fucking died. The best player, I'm friends with the best player who never made it into the Hall of Fame. He fucking died. I mean, it's just, I, I, as much as I want to, and trust me, I do, I want to dunk on the um, sports leagues for, like, partnering with betting companies and then saying what's the worst that could happen. And then, like, every sport now has a scandal where the players are betting perhaps on their own games or perhaps not but uh really once you cross the line of like betting on your own games that's like you couldn't have just bet on like someone else in the division you still got some insider information i'm sure people talk you couldn't have bet on like wizards versus pistons or something like that you had to bet on raptors versus knicks like you're sick that's, just, that's a sick man right there. He needs help. He had a Discord group he gave info to. That's crazy, man. But, like, what, what was his contract? Like, isn't that one of the reasons they get paid so much money is so they're not fucking selling insider information to Discord for like $5 a month? That's crazy. He wasn't that good? Okay, well, in that case, never mind. Discord! I'm howling at the moon! He bet 80k against himself for a 1.1 million payout. Yo, but imagine this story if he bet 80k against himself and then he overperformed like crazy. You would be like, that's a real baller right there. Like that dude had the 80k on the line saying he was going to suck and then he had like a triple double. He did accidentally hit a three pointer. Okay, well, every time I make up like a hypothetical about his story being worse, people are like, yeah, that really happened on camera. And I'm like, oh, okay. Extra large blinds! What a great time to play glass. Y'all? We're so back. No! Oh, it was guaranteed, man! Just to clarify, the wrestler was burned after Undertaker set their house on fire. It killed their parents. His brother, the Undertaker, was in fact dead. Oh, Kane, Kane didn't die. He was just badly burned. That's correct. My mistake. I didn't know all that. Exactly. You got it. I thought, like, so I was, I watched wrestling as a kid. I would say, like, 1993 to, like, 1997, 1998, something like that. It's, like, bad timing, I'll admit, but I basically got out, like, right as the Attitude Era started. So, like, I, I saw, like, The Rock before he was The Rock. 
and like a little bit of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I was like, this guy's never going to get over. I mean, I was eight or something, but like, it's like he drinks beer. That's bad. America will never accept a beer drinking wrestler. Oh, brother. So I, I was there like I remember watching. It probably wasn't like live because I was in Canada, but. Well, that was great. Um, I remember watching Kane wrestle for the first time, and I was like legit scared. I was like, they got an actual demon in the ring. Like, I think wrestling's gone too far, man. How did they come back from this? They, they've got a, a denizen of, of the underworld. And then you're like, ooh, I wonder what devilish finishing move he has. And he picks up a dude with his arm and throws him into the mat. He doesn't, like, cast a spell or anything. But as a kid, I was like, whoa! Choke slam! Beautiful. Be a beautiful selection. Thanks for the $2. Do you guys see the TikTok of the... Um, Miles Morales NPC breaking character and getting mad that no one was following the stream. I think it would be such a good clip to play on a soundboard while I play the Sisyphus game. It was like, listen, we've got 11,000 people here. We have 11,000 people here. We have 11,000 people here and no one's tapping the screen. We have 11 fucking thousand people here and nobody's tapping the screen. Come on. We have 11,000 people here and no one's tapping the fucking screen. It's so good. Oh, man. But he's right. Nobody's tapping the, tapping the screen, man. You seen the clip of him getting mad because someone sending him too many galaxies? Oh, man. I, the crazy thing is, like, I believe it, man. Like, or I, I believe that he's mad or stressed out, I should say. Because, like, he's at work, man. I've seen him driving the Lambo. I'm not taking this garbage. Local Thunk, we got to talk, man. They gotta put some good jokers in this game, okay? What am I gonna what am I supposed to do with this? I did I kind of like need it to survive, or maybe a planet can keep me alive? I was hoping for like a Venus, so I guess it'll settle for an Earth. Extra large blind? Okay, well it's we skip the blind and we go for a, a full house. I mean, I can't really be mad about having a straight either. Well, yes, I can. It turns out. Um, dump, dump the fours, man. We need face cards in our full house. Beautiful. <clears throat> hey, Anels, drops of Jupiter, the worst train song. If you want to dictate. <clears throat> Hey, Anel, is Drops of Jupiter the worst train song? If you want to dictate the discourse here, you got to show up on time. I'm sorry to tell you that we already discussed that. Ooh! We already discussed that at the start of the stream today. Your ass shows up late thinking you got something hot off the presses. Come on. Ridiculous. Face cards, please. Hmm. Hmm. A full house. Hey, Soul Sisters, worse. You know, if you showed up on time, you would already know that I agree with you. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. No, no, no. I, I, I think you're going to give me a king. Honest, I, I had a feeling you were going to give me a king after all that. What's wrong with Hey Soul Sister? You mean, apart from it being um, like the worst song of all time? Eh, it's, it's down there. Maybe the worst of all time might be a, a step too far, but it is down there. I can't believe it. 
Square Joker. I apologize for my earlier comments about you. Fireflies? I would rather hear Fireflies than Hey Soul Sister. I'm not being ironic. They're both really bad. American Idiot is worse. You don't know what you're talking about. That is just nonsensical. Not my favorite song of all time, but at least it has like a message behind it. It's a ridiculous statement, quite frankly. Dance Monkey? Yeah, that's down there. That one that one might be worse because of the the role it plays in my life now because my mom introduced my 3-year-old daughter to it and now she wants to listen to it all the time. That one's really bad. I can only score four of a kind. Good game, everybody. I don't know how to read. Four kings. Ooh, we're so close. Okay, we'll go again. <clears throat> the Lazy Song by Bruno Mars. Uh, doesn't count unless it was on the radio. You can't, you can't do this. Like, we have to have a shared agreement on terms before we get into debate. People are always like, worst song of all time? What about a B-side from, like, some fucking horrible album from 1951? It was all over the radio? Well, I've never heard it, so... Nevertheless. Dance Monkey isn't bad. I would disagree with you on that one. You will not be getting the aux cord in my vehicle. You've heard it? I was, you're absolutely right. I was not taking the school bus in 2010. I don't believe that I've heard it. Happy? I'm, I'm, I, I, I feel like I'm... It, there's no accounting for personal taste. There's a wide range of personal tastes, okay? Happy, overplayed, not a great song, but it kicks the shit out of Hey Soul Sister by Train. Hey Soul Sister is like the song that an eight-year-old thinks plays in your head when you die. It's, it's distasteful. It's cloying. It's saccharine. It has nothing... That it, it, it's weightless, but not in a good way. It's like you saying like your, your favorite song of all time is like the graduation song by Vitamin C or something like that. It has a good message. What's the, what's the message? Don't worry, be happy, Bobby McFerrin. It's got no complexity. You're flat. These go very nicely together. You know what? I got an idea. Actually, I realize adding one malt doesn't matter at all, but adding chips goes fucking hard. Yeah, that goes hard. What are we playing? This could be an easy pair build. Everything has to be complex, exclamation mark. Not everything has to be complex, but if you're... We're talking about the worst song of all time. You know, I'm going to have some data points in my favor, even if they are only opinions. No, you know what? I'm rescinding that. I'm replying to your message with the middle finger. We're not getting sidetracked in conversations anymore by a argument towards the absurd. I'm resorting to ad hominems. It's like if you told me your favorite food was chicken nuggets and I was like, really, no vegetables or nothing? And you're like talking, alternating caps and lowercase. All meals have to be good for you. That's not what I fucking said, but you're like 32 years old, you know? No, no, no carrots or nothing? No grains? Air fried french fries and dinosaur chicken nuggets? Really? Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna judge. I'm sorry. I'm gonna judge. The meal that you was eating? There are grains in the batter. No, oh, man. What did I just, I just bought telescope. Give me hero font, and then we're chilling. What did I tell you? Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna go possibly pair build. Low steals. Play pairs. Are pairs gonna be good enough to survive right now? Probably not. Play flushes for now. 
But then when are pairs ever going to be good enough? You know what? That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know right now. Maybe we'll just go flushes. I don't know. Why am I so, why am I so stressed about pairs? That being said, I might just toss you a quick one. Hey, Anel, I just listened to Hey Soul Sister. It's nowhere bad as you made it seem. What did you think? You know what? This is the problem with society. In today's modern era, no disrespect to you, but about 80% of you are robots. Input comes in. It goes through a, an objective analyzer, and then output gets spat out. The song has no spirit. It was designed to sell moisturizer to your aunt, Okay. That, that, was, that song was not written from a place of art, from a place of genuine feeling, from a place of like, I have, I have some pain or a human experience that I want to turn and encapsulate into a, a piece of art that I can share with the world so we all feel a little closer to one another. That shit was like built in a fucking think tank by Dove Soap, okay? Its very existence is, in my opinion, subtle malevolence, an, an act of aggression against all that is real in the act of creativity itself. I find its presence detestable. It wasn't, what would you think it was going to start and go, <laughs> car accident, fucking police sirens, and then some dude going, no, it's like, it's, that shit would never have made it on the radio because it's too daring. Seabed. So true. I had a flush. The train guy has an evil face. He looks like Lucifer. We're not doing that. We're not doing that either. I have no idea and, quite frankly, no interest in whether the lead singer of Train is a good guy or a bad guy. I'm 35, which means I can just evaluate the art on the actual merits of the art, and it's fucking dog doo-doo. We're not rehabilitating Imagine Dragons music because the lead singer has great opinions, okay? It makes him a, a better person. It doesn't make it any harder to press the skip button when, you know, the lightning and the thunder song comes on. This will keep me alive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my own rule. I'm not buying Hieroglyph, man. I'm not buying it. I did see... Like in the, and, and it's, again, it's just music is not that serious. You can still be a great person and have a different taste in music than me, I imagine. That being said, when I saw people saying like, if you don't like Drops of Jupiter, what's it like to not have a sense of wonder? I wanted to reply, yeah, that song really triggers my sense of wonder. I wonder when it's going to be over and they're going to play something better. <sighs> Fucking... Muppets ass two old guys in the peanut gallery type joke. Boom, roasted. What's their name? Wallace and Gromit or whatever? <laughs> Whoa, dude, there's a Muppet. Oh, ATP old, dude. I'm Statler and Waldorf. That's it. That's it. Ernst and Young. Ernst and fucking old. What are we? What are, what are we doing here? Sock and buskin. You see it? You take eight thousand points. It can't be done, man. No, oh, never mind. Nah, -uh, not necessary. No face cards. You like that? Ernst and Young catching strays. I don't know anything about them. But they don't do my accounting, so... Fuck them. You will never be Deloitte shower handle. 
Face cards, please. That's basic. We're only uh, nine strengths away from that being all face cards. Medium. Dumpa. Ernst and Young executes the NHL lottery. That's fucked up. What did they what did it even do, man? What did it even do? Murder somebody? It was oh, uh, must play five cards. Sorry. I'm sorry. What about hey there Delilah? Finally, an intellectual chatter. Hey there Delilah is definitely it's in that Hey Soul Sister zone. Hey Soul, they, like I'm trying to think of songs that exist in that zone. It's Hey Soul Sister, Hey There Delilah, Fireflies is in there as well. Um, the Jason Mraz song, I'm Yours. Uh, I, Bad Day by Daniel Powder, absolutely in that zone. Yeah, no doubt. Great, great pick on that one. Hey there, Delilah bangs. No, it fucking does not bang, bro. Give your head a shake. Get in. Get, come on, England, score some goals. Bad day is a good song. We're f this full of hypocrites is is what I'm learning. Chat's full of hypocrites today. It bad day bangs, but let me guess. You find ironic by Alanis Morissette. Just a little too perfect. He turned 98, won the lottery, and died the next day. Did you expect me to believe that, Alanis? What about Fireflies? Fucking value brand, postal service knockoff. You will never be such great heights. Ironic is good and bad day is good. POV, you're from New Brunswick. Okay, let me think. This is an important moment for us. How'd you know that? This is fucking, this is a New Brunswick ass song. I don't know what you want me to say. It just is what it is. I mean, I like a lot of Canadian music, but if you like every song ever made by a Canadian artist, you're from New Brunswick. It's that simple. Does a song have to have meaningful lyrics to be considered good? You got me so backwards you don't even know. I'm not I'm not necessarily exclusively a songwriting Andy. Two one second. Two pair or a re-triggered king? Let's try two pair. It's more like when and everybody has their own biases. The most detestable form of music for me is like adult contemporary, easy listening. Um, check out how soulful this song and songwriting is, but actually it does nothing interesting. I find it very boring. And it's it, in a way, perhaps the reason that it annoys me more than it may annoy some people is because I always feel that like if you listen to rap music or electronic music or rock and roll, people are like, that's cool. I remember listening to that when I was a youth. As I got older, I wanted something more sophisticated, like Mumford and Sons. And then they're like, oh, you just this song is so sweet. I love you and you love me back and I'd love to wake up next to you every day. Uh, hoo -hoo. It's just like it's, it's been done, man. What do you want me to say? Just is not interesting. You know what? We're taking this. I can't believe that that train, the Lumineers, Mumford and Son. This is like James Murphy at the end of uh, Losing My Edge. If he was evil, Jason Mraz, the Lumineers, Owl City, Train. I'm trying to think of other bands that that fit into the category. Wait, quick, give me a good four syllable one that replaces Gil Scott Heron. There's got Edward Sheeran. There we go. We got there. The Old Crow Medicine Show. 
the chain smokers. Megan Trainer. Tell me what you really want. Sorry. I, I kind of. I ended. I, this is, I, I, I went somewhere. I did not. I never. I told myself I'd never go back there, but here we are. These are just my opinions. This guy just hates music. You realize you're repping fucking train right now. You're repping Daniel Powder. Like he wrote that song to be played in Aldo. That's not coming from the heart, man. Like there's good music that I just don't like. But like I, I never thought that there would be fucking... Ed Sheeran shooters in the chat. James Blunt shooters in the chat. Sure, James Blunt. Great Twitter account. My life is brilliant. Really? You think you're a shooter for that? That hits you in the soul? It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. I just disagree. Where are you sitting on Jack Johnson? Outside the fucking venue in, the, in my car. Waiting for my friend's older sister to be done so we can drive home. I will, you will not catch me in the fucking Live Nation arena for that one. Banana pancakes or not. I don't even know what I'm doing on this run anymore. We're on anti four. What about Creed? Also horrible. Terrible. Thoughts on baby metal? Listen, I'll take shots at Jason Mraz. I'm not taking any shots at baby metal. They got real shooters. you're losing me I what you need to realize is that I don't really care if I lose you I'm being true to myself I'm on that Claudius lifestyle okay maybe you you're the one that's lost if I'm on my path and I can see the fucking HUD in front of me with the quest marker and you're like hey where are you going I'm like I'm going to the, the next quest brother you don't even realize you're out there Fucking milling about getting into the same conversation with the shopkeeper over and over. I'm actually, 90s maxing has had crazy consequences on my psyche. At first I thought it was just going to local restaurants that are three and a half out of five and saying this is pretty good. I realize now and I've, I've become, it's like I've freed myself from the fucking carbonite freezing that Darth Vader put me into. You know how freeing it is to just express an opinion on media without couching it in like 500 anticipatory rebuttals to counter arguments made by 14 year old kids on social media? Yeah, I understand that the singer has good opinions and donates a lot to charitable causes, but for me personally, I just don't really like the music that much. Maybe it's because I'm a product of my time and I wasn't really there like I was living in Korea. What fuck, I don't like the song. The end. We're bringing talking back. People used to tweet like they talked. Now they talk like they tweet. And it's fucking everything up, okay? We gotta just start being like, I didn't really like that movie. Why? I don't know. I just left and I was like, I didn't like it that much. Is there like a plot hole? Or like you didn't like the cinematography or the blocking? Everyone's talking about the blocking these days. Oh, it just didn't really grab me. Did you know the director is the head of the Directors Guild Union? And he... That, good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Rhetoric is back on the menu. Exactly. I think. I don't know. Maybe. I'm going... I, I am going to tell you... This is straight up. I'm going to lose this run. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Good advice, so I'm gonna tell it to my English teacher. You've got one little problem there. Might not apply to you, it applies to me, because I'm not 15 years old. I already went through that gone. I don't have an English teacher. I was an English teacher. We're living in different area codes.
I could go in a little further. I'm not going to go in any further. You don't deserve it. You didn't do anything wrong. We, uh, ice cream's giving me 15 chips, huh? It's the sort of thing we might want to sort out. Ace, two, three, four, five. Queen, queen, ten, ten. It's funny, they call them lucky cards. Per perfect ice cream? Because I can sell it for full price? You know what the best is? We want low hands. The best is when you say you didn't like a movie and then someone else who clearly uh, doesn't have their feelings wrapped up in media says, oh really, what's the name of your favorite movie then? You're like, damn, sorry I said like, the first Spider-Verse was like an eight and a half out of 10. Now your ass is taking shots at fucking like, Charlie Kaufman's adaptation. Like you're pitting two bad bitches against each other. It's okay, they're both, they're both good. Why you gotta drag Charlie Kaufman into this shit, bro? Charlie Kaufman doesn't know shit about Spider-Verse. Fine. You do that? Yeah, yeah, I'm amongst the best of that, I would say. The best doers of that. Can't really deny that. You kinda got me on that one. You cooked with that one. How about 20 molts? Yay! Wasn't even that, I'm going to lose. But you know what? We did call it. That's your whole thing. Excuse me, it's not my whole thing. I got a lot of things. Calling that my whole thing is very insulting. Now, is this something I do? Yeah, you won't catch me denying that. It's not my whole thing. Well, I would say the, the first hour of Balatro, not the most productive hour of all time, but you know what? That's okay. Let's go. I, I just don't like the... I just don't really like the... I'm not, I, I think the Plasma deck is good. I just don't like it. No! You have to come with objective reasons for everything! <laughs> so you're not coming to lunch? I mean, just give me a normal deck, man. Whatever. We used to be a proper society. We used to be like, boom, green deck. That's as crazy as we got. Maybe on Saturdays we do the green deck. Monday to Friday it was red, blue, yellow. That's it. The primary colors. Nowadays we're getting mired in all this errata. Me amo T-Bone, the Aranya Discoteca. NL's a community head? Nope. Clip just got shared a lot on Facebook back in the day. He's right. How would you would have been like 12? Come on, he's right. I would love to take Bloodstone. It's just not in the cards. It's just not in the cards. You were still using Facebook when Community came out? Yeah, I was still using Facebook in 2007. I know you were eight years old and you like to think that you would have been uh, off of that earlier. You wouldn't have. You'd probably, because because you're on the same shit right now. You're not on Facebook, but you're on something that's going to have, a, like, the fucking Snapchat selling your pictures to the Chinese spy agency or something like that. They all got to make money, okay? Let me think about this. It is pretty good. It's pretty good. 2007, Facebook was the only game in town. You, I mean, you had to have a .edu for a bit, man. I love that his go-to straw man is that a person's 12 to 15 years old. I didn't say they're 12 to 15. I said they were 12 to 15 in 2007, which means they're fucking my age now. Doesn't really make sense, but math is complicated sometimes. And you're like... it. It's, it, your straw man is always like, you made it up. But I got the demographics data. 
I can see my demos, bro. So you just admit it. You're like, it's a straw man, but you are right. I am 28 years old. Okay, diamond flushes. Yeah, I used to live with a diamond flush. Come with the flush down under, where the diamonds blow and men chunder. Chatter says, anyone here lie about their age to get a social media account? Honestly, you, I'm, I'm telling you this genuinely, you should not admit it because like it might be something that could get your account shut down forever. Like, I wonder how many huge Twitter accounts made their account when they were 12 and just stuck with it and then, like, got famous when they were, like, 19 and now they're, like, <gasps> like, they can't sleep at night because they're, like, oh, <laughs> I made my account when I was 12 years and 304 days old. Negative DNA in the buffoon pack. It came to me in a dream. Imagine, though. Still not a bad pull there. I'm not mad at you. I mean, you know what? I, I, the reason I did it is because I put respect on the insane pick. That's like a 1 in 400 times like a 1 in 200 chance. So I was like, I gotta... Anytime someone gives you 80,000 to 1 odds, that might not even be right, but... Anytime someone gives you those odds, you take it, man. You take it. What is it about Balatro that makes you so aggressive? Where's my hug? You should smile more energy. No disrespect. Brother, I know there's a diamond left here. Holy... I just, I can't imagine you would say something like that and then not have a rebuttal to a rebuttal that you knew was coming. What'd you think I was going to say? I'll be nicer next time? I'm not a rude guy. A lot of the comments that come in are taking shots at me. I'm responding with an equivalent level of rudeness. You're just used to a cushy life online with asymmetric sort of dynamics where you quote tweet someone who says something you didn't like and you say, I fucking hate this person. I hope they die. And then they never see it because they're out like living their life. I fucking see it and I respond. I'm giving you a taste of what the internet used to be like and what real life could be again if you bring that attitude outside, although that might be ambitious. Okay, we're going next. I'm, I, we got to get the econ built. They, they don't make flushes anymore. This 97-year-old game doesn't make flushes the old-fashioned way. I'm buying into the idea that red card is, is criminally underrated. I never thought I would find myself in that position. I find myself in that position now. That time, that was worth it. <laughs> I hate it, it's ass. Well, you're not playing the game right now, so you can, you can ignore it when it shows up in your runs. If it loses it for me on this one, I'll never pick it up ever again, that's for sure. I, I work in extremes. We measure our plans in centuries. Yo, I've never even taken this before, bro. Finally. You don't even give me interest, so forget that. So you're a Sith then? <clears throat> Excuse me, I said I deal in extremes. Siths only deal in absolutes. There's a difference. Also, we don't do that here. We don't, I, it's no disrespect. We're a Dune chat. We're not a Star Wars chat anymore. We say, we don't say only a Sith deals in absolutes. We say our plans are measured in centuries. We say, Mama Jessica's psychic fetus dipped in Shai Halud's water of life blue oil.
we play these. Three thousand generations of Bene Gesserit eugenics dipped in Arrakis spice dust oil? I'm fucking rich, bro. I thought there was a percentage chance. It's not a percentage chance. It's a guarantee. You buy any of that guy's chili oil? No, I'm just like... I don't even... Like, listen. For the amount of hot sauce... That I consume... I'm actually pretty chill with just Frank's Red Hot. I don't need, I, I'm, we're a one sauce household, to be honest. Sure, Campfire is amazing, but it's fucking boring, man. See you later. I'm a, I'm a one hot sauce house. I would prefer if it was Cholula, but it's Frank's right now. I don't even remember why, I probably bought it like, Three years ago. <laughs> Frank's is overrated. Oh, you mean the hot sauce that everybody online says literally just tastes like spicy vinegar? It's overrated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Tell me more. I don't like it. See, now you're 90s maxing. That I respect. You don't have to come up with some contextual argument for like, you know, the the environment means that Fra like Frank's is problematic because it pays for advertisements that go in front of Fox News or something. You could just be like, it tastes like hot vinegar. That's why I buy it. I like it. Okay, I'm playing flushes. I'm playing flushes. Let me see a standard pack. I'm not taking the nine. I will take you. We could take Jupiter, but give me three malt instead. This guy loves Fox News. I'll tell you straight up. You think watching Fox News in America is cooked? Wait until you go to like a 60 year old person's house in Canada and see that they got Fox News on. And you're like, what the hell are you even doing, man? It's not, oh no, 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 not like this, not like this. We, we lose. All right, we go again. That's fine. I will never take red card again. Guaranteed. Selected. He's just saying grace. You know how it is. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Bless this mess. So true. Good food. Good meat. Good God. Let's let's eat. I think let's let's try to go crazy and talk about like a potential straight flush setup. Wouldn't that be something? And I'm a, a very simple man at the end of the day. I could be persuaded to like hear a font and then just convert y'all into diamonds, man. And we'll just, that, that way we don't even have to deprogram ourselves from the last run. And then discard royal flush when you have it. I know, I know. Guy who is willing to spoil how to get a joker but won't tell you what the joker is. I'll let you find that one out for yourself. You should go to the restaurant with the golden arches. And then walk up to the counter and say, I'll have a Big Mac hamburger sandwich. What arrives on that red tray may surprise you. 
I do like Constellation. You know what I don't like is when psychic spies from China try to steal my mind's elation. I'm like, bro, that's my mind's elation. Like, what are you doing? I don't really mind when little girls from Sweden dream of silver screen portration. That to me is like, why would I care? It's not really my business. I don't see why like I should be concerned about that. If anything, it's kind of weird that you're like making it a thing. What's going on? This is the red hot chili peppers. I accidentally did the wrong thing to get a straight flush. <laughs> no, I didn't. That still works, bro. Yeah, why not? Does YouTube algorithm feed you Chad Smith videos all the time? I'm not, I promise I don't mean anything by this. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Dump them. Three, four, five, six, two. I just need a diamond. I need a diamond. I need a max win. Three, four, five, six. Oh, well, you could just do that. You ever thought about making a game? Yeah, like until I tried. And then I was like, man, this is like hard. It's not quite a straight flush, huh? Okay. All right, well, we got some chips on it. Is it really hard? It is amazing that, like, any of them ever get made in the first place. Are we going to lose again? Yep. <clears throat> Just hire someone? No, I'm already in the best business of all time. That's like you just won the lottery. What are you going to do with your money? I don't know. Start a restaurant. Doesn't seem like a, like a sensible economic idea. All the companies are, are laying people off and going out of business. It's, it seems like a really hard industry to thrive in, honestly. Yeah, but the dude who made Stardew Valley... I'm not the dude who made Stardew Valley! That guy's a fucking genius, man! I'm gonna spend eight years crafting my passion project. It's gonna sell 52 copies. And I'm gonna be like, you need to buy more! I made my own engine! I put a lot of work into it! Fifty-two is a lot. POV, you are weeks. Okay. What it was this is this is the green deck. The green deck, I understand. <clears throat> True, that's a whole damn year. He's right, you know. Choose one. I'm hot. I'm twerking on the runway. I am a queen card. Queen me. Me playing feminist checkers in 2029? Mm, king me. Ah! They shoot me to death. They, they pull a lever that drops me down a pit into lava. Come on, come on! The game just started. I'm just a kid, man. Yay! And life is a nightmare. You know what I'm realizing is that like, and, and this is this is the real nugget of, of self-awareness in the, oh! In the drops of Jupiter bit. Um, I'm not quite ready for kids born after the year 2000 to be like fake nostalgic for the period that I grew up in. But like this is like reality, like it happens to everybody. 
but then also like god willing i might even live through like two more echoes of it you know what i mean like it might be like 2050 and people are like nostalgic for the mid 2020s y2k renaissance but then i guess like y2k itself is kind of like a, an echo of a culture that happened earlier i don't know which one it would be maybe some shit from like the bronze age or something kids are nostalgic for 2005 these days i know but like but it's like we have to be self-aware though because i'm fake nostalgic for like you know, the 80s and the early 90s, and I lived through that shit, but I was like two. I'd be like, man, this is fucking, you should have been there when Slanted and Enchanted came out, man. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? You were one and a half years old. Like, I'm, I'm co-opting the nostalgia of, like, the Gen Xers, and now the, the Gen Alphas are co-opting mine, the nostalgia that should be mine, and I can't even be mad about it because I did the same thing to, like, my parents' generation. And then my parents' generation did the same thing with, like, the 1960s. Best Pavement album? I don't want... It's... List, we, don't, we, don't, we don't pit three bad bitches against each other, okay? Nothing against Bright in the Corners and nothing against Terror Twilight. They're still great, okay? We don't pit three bad bitches against each other, though. Which three? The other three. Slanted and Enchanted, Crooked Rain, and Wowie Zowie. It depends on the mood, bro. I know what I must do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. C can you fucking give me a spade? Thank you. Wait, I got a shitload of queens. I got a shitload of queens. Okay, Thomas Jefferson. What does that even mean? Okay, Thomas Jefferson. What does it mean? If you're gonna insult me, I'd love to know what it means. Thomas Jefferson? Okay, Thomas Jefferson, they said? I'm a huge believer that this will save our life one day. No one knows what it means. What does it mean, man? Okay, Thomas Jefferson. Discard me. Queen me. Discard me. I knew it. We do have a problem in the sense that we have no flat. Oh, we do have 10 flat mold, but I wanted the three bucks anyway. Can you win for once? Okay, get ready. This is the one. This actually is the one, though. And then buy this temporarily. Standard pack me. We're looking for queens. That's a skip. But his credit card is free, bro. I don't worry, Le Slayer 420 I saw your your very helpful erudite comment earlier. You got nothing to concern yourself with. That's a rare double skip. You know what? Give me this one. That's a huge one. And then... Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. And that's what we're gonna fucking do. We don't have any fucking water. I am a believer we will draw a queen. It will happen. Get it twisted, it will take place. The man's a damn genius. How's the gas leak? I'm pretty sure it's fixed. I would like it. Let's go one more shop. We can do one more shop. But like, it was an exterior gas leak. So if anything, you should be saying like, thank you NL for saving my life. Cause I was leaking natural gas all over British Columbia. And not the kind I usually do. Yes, please. I wasn't joking, by the way. Like, I was wondering why my gas bill was so fucking expensive. 
I was like, didn't I just give you a lot of money like last month? And they're like, yeah, you got to do it again. And I was like, who, you and what army, bro? Like, that doesn't seem fair. I was like, I don't even use natural gas, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Yay, five of a coin. Shit happened with my dad's water bill. I'm like, I know. I'm like, why is this shit so expensive? I don't even shower. I would like a Joker. But I also don't mind just re-rolling. This would be good on Queens. Yeah, sure. Camp campfire, but it's boring, bro. It's boring. We hit the snooze button on that. You know, I just want to see greatness. I'm sorry. You're not going to give me greatness? What I do? Debuff? See if I care? Fuck it. It's got to be done. Me when Kevin James is looking for new acting roles. Me when Kevin James is looking for new acting roles. Me when Kevin James. Hang on. I'm So you're not Kevin James. I'm just I'm starting to I'm where I'm step wise debugging from the Lord of the Rings franchise. Oh, we're pogging now. Okay, Thomas Jefferson. Leave the jokes to the professionals. So true. Then the professionals be like, you can't joke about anything these days. I made a joke at the fucking venue that I got paid $35,000 to perform at. And then one person on Twitter got mad at me. Well, I said, why are you mad at me? I'm rich. Three people laugh, but Netflix glazes the editing. So it, they use fucking chat GPT audience to make it seem like everybody in the audience is fucking killing themselves laughing. The trick is you can still joke, and, and as you know, I'm a steward of comedy myself, but you can still joke about anything. You just have to say, kill him, kill him with hammers afterwards. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No discards is pissing me off, bro. You just have to be funny. Well, it's never stopped me. Never mind. We're winning this, man. Thoughts on the Bluey discourse? I already said this in the Discord, so I apologize because it's like a repeated bit, but this time verbally. The Bluey Discourse, I, I predicted a week ago that there would be Bluey Discourse in 10 years. What I didn't realize is that the culture moves so fast these days that I was like, accidentally, I was right, but I was wrong, right? I still think for uh, childless adults watching Bluey, not my vibe, but that's not what I want to talk about. I still want to talk about my thesis that in 10 years, the kids who are like seven watching Bluey right now are going to be 17 and they're going to be posting like tweet screeds about how like Bluey is a bad example for people because of the fact that the dad takes too much abuse. You're going to, oh, yeah, does it make you feel bad? Listen, motherfucker, I watched an episode of Bluey last night. It's called, this episode is called Addresses, okay? Bingo and Bluey want to be hairdressers. They pretend to be a hairdresser for the mom. They put her hair in curlers and give her a magazine. For dad... They said, okay, dad, hop in the shower. They hopped, he hopped in the shower. They held the door shut. They cranked on the cold water. It gave him like a five minute cold shower. And the dad can't even go like, yahoo. -hoo! He just has to be like, all right, all right, guys, come on now. Then they took that motherfucker outside and hung him upside down on the swing and covered his ass in fucking flour and then scratched the shit out of him with rakes. And you're going to be like, why did they do that? They said he had nits in his fur. He was hanging upside down from the swing. They coated him in flour, took tools from the shed, and went... 
He walks in at the end of the day. He's like, he can't even speak straight. He's like, hi, mom, how are you? She's fine. She's still got the curlers in her hair. She's reading the magazine. I'm telling you, they are ma they're setting a bad example for fathers everywhere, man. And that was like, I was, my kids like beating the piss out of me sometimes. And I'm like, I wonder where she got it from. Turn on an episode of Bluey. They're like beating the dad to death. It's still a pretty good show though, in the whole scheme of things. It's got a, it's got a big heart. I can't deny that. With hammers, <laughs> with hammers. Chip me. You sussy so and so. No, I can't afford it yet. I gotta, I gotta go one more round. Come on, I'm discarding full houses. Do you know? Oh, never mind. I'm not complaining anymore. Good dads can take it. See, this is the kind of gaslighting I'm talking about, man. Let me think about this for a moment. Why did they have to hang him upside down? That's what I'm saying, man. Like, they couldn't have just given him some damn dignity. <laughs> they couldn't have said just stand there. They had to, like... Shibari his ass? Like, oh, and yeah, you thought the word frauding was gonna break my brain. Shut the fuck up, man. I've been down in the trenches when you were fucking knee-high to a grasshopper. I just wanna make sure. I'm gonna play this. I just wanna make sure. There is one. Yeah, I did mention the one. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Where he throws away his kids' drawings. But like that one, I did, so he, he, the mom is like, please take these kids away from me. And he's like, I'm going to the dump. Kids shouldn't be there. And she's like, you figure it out, motherfucker. Okay, so he piles the kids into the car with all the garbage. And then he, at the dump, he makes a horrible dad mistake. He's throwing out the kids' drawings in front of the kids. And then the kids are like, why are you throwing out our art? And you can't say like, you know, listen, you're four. Like, it's, I'll, I'll keep hanging up the new art, but I'm not going to keep all the art forever. That's crazy. I'm like, Bluey's dad, come on. Maybe it's because he's got, like, CTE from all the concussions have his kids have given him. But, like, you got to, like, put that shit in a bag and throw it out. Or, like, not do it. You can just keep it in the house until you're not taking them to the dump with you and then throw it out. Plus, like, I don't know, should that shit be recycled? Are we canceling Bluey's dad? I don't know. You tell me, Chad. I know you can recycle paper. Can you recycle paper that has paint on it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, there's all sorts of, like, weird fucking folklore rules on recycling. Like, you know, I, I grew up in one of those houses where it was like, you can recycle the jar, but you throw out the lid. Is that real? Or should you be keeping the lid on the jar when you put it in the glass bin? That's real? <laughs> it depends. You remove it? Or like you, when you get the spring mix in the plastic box with the soft plastic, you have to throw out the soft plastic lid, but you put the hard plastic into the fucking... Then, uh, don't even get me started. Like, all this shit that you buy on Amazon these days, it always says, please recycle me on it. And I'm like, you can't just print that shit on your product with, like, ink. Like, is it or is it not recyclable? I'll put it in the recycling bin, but like, if the recycling truck comes by and leaves all of my shit because this thing's not recyclable, I'm gonna be pissed off, man. And then everything's like, you, please, if you have a problem with our product, don't give us a three-star review. Talk to our AI assistant again. We'll sort it out for you. Man, fuck you. I'm, this is a straw, man. I made up like all this in my head. That's why I just throw everything in a big garbage bag and put it in a drum and light it on fire. Life's too short, man. I would love another Joker space. Let's give it a chance. Then why do you recycle jokes? Holy, I got, there you got me, I see? People think I hate chat. I don't hate chat, I just, I, I think that you got, 
you got some zingers in you, and I'm just trying to provide the right environment to get them out. Mm. You went off with that one. Take a bow. Give your head a shake. Come on, England. Score some fucking goals. Hey, Pat of Brian. Is that a re- Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Is that a, is that a reference to Pat O'Brien from uh, Entertainment Tonight? Am I old? Does anybody else remember Pat? Does anyone else remember Entertainment Tonight? Entertainment Tonight was a show that was on five nights a week after the news that covered all the incredible news and rumors coming out of Hollywood. And there was a guy on the show named Pat O'Brien who was famous because he had like a, like a crazy voice. And then the worst possible controversy happened. Leaked horny voicemails from Pat O'Brien. It probably doesn't hit the same if you didn't grow up listening to Pat O'Brien be like, and coming up next, James McAvoy to talk about X-Men First Class. But like hearing, were they in the voice? Yeah, because that's his voice, man. That's just how he sounds. It's not... I don't know. This was back in the... It was an earlier era, okay? I don't, I don't know if there was anything more controversial than the fact that uh, they were just horny and he's a public figure, so he's not supposed to, like, use his cock or something. Maybe it was, like, somebody that worked at the, at, at, at the show and that would be worse for sure. I don't know, but it's just... It was mostly funny because he was using his, his real voice, which was also his TV voice. And you're like, I'm not used to hearing him talk like this. If this breaks, I've told you, I'm uninstalling the game if it breaks. No, thank you. No thanks. No thanks. Not necessary. What what am I doing? You should get it twisted. You should be reroll maxing at all times. Yep, just use it on two for no reason. Sure. Straight Dracula taking back shots for the first time ever. I don't know if there's enough meat on that bone. That's not my impression. That's like, I just I just don't know if there's... Like, what, what would the joke even be? He's, ex- he's experiencing his homosexual awakening. It's not a joke. I'm sure it happens to lots of people. I'm not the right kind of guy to write that story, okay? You'd have to ask Corey about that one. See? Okay, okay. We hate this guy. Kill him. Let's kill him with hammers. You can get away with anything. Get it twisted. You can be homophobic towards your straight friends. You can do anything. You're right, I have no interest. I should be rolling. Hmm. What was I saying? No, you can't be homophobic towards your gay friends. That's like insanely problematic. But you can definitely be homophobic towards your straight friends. Not with your straight friends! That's problematic. But if your friend is straight, I think you can make fun of him for being gay. As long as you're not actually homophobic. If you're actually homophobic, you're not allowed. Prezo, can I get a pass on this one, please? I need I need a representative. Can I get grandfathered in on this one? It's it's a good faith joke, okay? It's not a joke. I'm not trying to insult a marginalized group of individuals. I know straight people have been through a lot lately. Oh, it's still pretty good. <clears throat> you should be reroll maxing. Let's go. I have I got a pass. I'll take it. You know what's crazy? So I made that I made that tweet. Well, I replied to the librarian's tweet. I was like, what happened to all the bronies? Not even in a in a negative way, but I was like, literally, like one in four people that replied to me on Twitter in 2014 had a brony avatar. And then 
when I made the tweet, a lot of people replied and they're like, we're still here, NL. We're just furries now or like we're trans now. And then I look at their profile and I see that they're like 25. And I was like, why the fuck were you tweeting me when you were 15? You're trying to like start an argument with me when you were 15 years old. I get that you're a little kid, but like, can you apologize for that now? Because like I was operating under the assumption that everybody on the internet was like my age. And I was replying to communist brony in good faith. Now I realize you're you're doing that shit between homeroom and math class. Like we were not, that conversation should not have happened. It doesn't make any sense, man. That's on you? No, the fuck it isn't. I was in my lane. You were tweeting me shit like your actions in this war of mine video, episode number 17, were really problematic for these reasons. I hope you'll address this in a statement later. And I was like, oh shit, this is all new to me. They must be arguing in good faith. I didn't realize you just like, you know, were 15. It's fine. But like, I mean, okay, I'll admit it's partly on me, but like it's also like fully on you. Like there's 150% blame to go around. I'll take 50, you take, you take the 100. Hang on. Steve Harvey voice, kill. 75, 75, no, you're not gonna, you're not gonna gaslight me. 5,100. Hey, Das Borel, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. Question marks? What, you haven't seen the Steve Harvey meme? What message would you send to the 15-year-olds watching you now? <laughs> You're not gonna like it. Stay in school? That's all I, I... I don't have anything else. What do you want me to... Grow up? No, like, I, I would... I would almost say the opposite. I would say don't be in a rush to grow up. Stay in school, don't do drugs. Yes, don't do drugs. But if you're going to do them, wait until you're at least like close to 25 because that's when your brain's like fully developed. And at that point, listen, okay? There's everything in life comes with trade-offs. You should not microwave plastic and then eat out of the plastic that you microwaved if you're under the age of 60. You're getting lots of free radicals when you do that. If you're 80, that shit takes time to create compound interest in your body. You're not going to be here forever. You might as well, man. You might as well be... Go for it. Everything in moderation, including moderation. I do disagree, though, when people say things that are like, when I'm 80, I'm going to like, fuck it. Sometimes people say, like, when I'm 60, I'm gonna, fuck it, I'm going to like do every drug under the sun. And I'm like, my parents are 60 years old and they're like, you know, going on hikes and shit like that. They're not like, like the alien from Men in Black 1 that was trapped in that dude's chest. <clears throat> like, you're going to be fucking in bed, like, I can barely move. Fucking bring out the, the crocodile, man. Like, no, it's not... Oh, I gotta do crystal meth. Like, are you serious? You're probably just gonna want like a sandwich and some hard candy. That's what I think I would want, honestly. Anyway, what was I? That was with advice for the for current fifteen year olds. I don't know. I honestly, I, I have, how would I know, man? The world moves so fast these days. I have no idea what it's like to be 15 now. And I sure as shit don't know what it's going to be like to be 30 in fucking 2039. You might be living on Mars by then. You're probably going to be living in Ohio. You might be living on Mars, though. I don't know. No! <laughs> Ohio? I'm already halfway there. The fuck does that mean? Where are you, where are you living? 
halfway from where to, to where, man. Kalid? No, but you're 150% of the way there. I don't know if I could give real... Like, I can't give advice to you if you're 15. But I can give advice to my 15-year-old self. Skip less class in university. Civ 4 will always be there when you get a chance. <laughs> you will have free time. Go, it's only four years. I, I graduated. I even graduated with honors. But I could have done a lot better in school. Which would have given me easier opportunities after school instead of giving me a, a, a period of time where there was anyway. Now that the malaise was transmuted into something productive, which is great, but there's really just a lottery ticket. Like I got insanely lucky. Don't don't repeat it. <laughs> He's lying. Free time is a myth. You should be Sid Meier maxing. Get it twisted. Skele Magus, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. I would love to have a Joker. I would. My actual advice is to do computer science. I'm not trying to give you like a, um, oh, fantastic. <coughs> it's useless. I'm not trying to give you a, a crisis, okay? But like, aren't we in, aren't we at like the start of the computer science bubble? Weren't there, I saw like a, a news headline like a couple weeks ago that was like 61% of undergrads at this university are now computer science grads. Like, aren't we reaching the point where we're like, you had it good for a, a long time. That's why I started to learn programming, I don't know, nine years ago at this point as well. It was like, basically, all you have to do is go to class and graduate, and you'll be in a good position. But like, now I'm like, fucking everybody got the memo. Don't we need like some gas fitters or something? Don't we need some damn, some, some bakers? No, it's still true. Okay. Okay. You know what we need? We need more idea, guys, man. We need more idea, guys. You know what I thought, by the way? When, when I was growing up, I thought the world was like, if you need a... Um, trying to think of the best way to explain it if you need a plumber your toilet breaks you pick up a phone you call 911 you say i need a plumber they give you 10,000 resumes and you pick the a plus triple s tier plumber of your dreams they're over your house in two seconds in real life when you when something in your house breaks and you need a plumber you're on their fucking terms man which makes me think that they're calling all the shots right now you're calling, you got 12 plumbers, you call the first one, I'm fully booked. Oh, plus we're in Cuba for the next six weeks. You, you have to go down the list, you call like nine plumbers, and then finally the ninth one is like, you know, oh, I'll be there in two weeks, and you're like, thank you, thank you, sir, thank you. Meanwhile, if you want, if you ever tweet anything about like computer programming, you get like a thousand people in your mentions that are like, I'll do it for you for free. Now that's merely one anecdote but it scares me from a supply-demand standpoint. We don't need you. It's going to take too long. We literally, I would rather get re-rolls than have you. I think you suck. I think you're garbage. You're decroted. You're moltless. No repeat hand types. No problem. We'll just get five of a kind. <laughs> Who would have thought... Why are you drinking off camera? Are you hiding something? If Western Family wants to get some free promotion for their pineapple splash, naturally flavored pineapple sparkling water, they know where to reach me. All I'm gonna say is today's price is not yesterday's price. They just did? Well, in three seconds, I could just say it tastes like sewage.
Can you do that? <laughs> What's the word for that? When you threaten slander against the corporation unless they give you money? That's something I don't like right now. We, as streamers, we have to wait for like sponsors to come in and then be like, no, it's a mobile game. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure your product gave me camp below back there. No, 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 no. Then eventually you get one and you're like, let's go. What if you just started being a criminal? What if you sent an email to Coca Cola and you were like, hey, give me 10,000 bucks or I'm going to say that your product gave me chronic diarrhea and popcorn lung on stream? You have 24 hours to respond. They will assassinate you with a drone strike. Okay, what about like uh, Topo Chico or something like that? Somebody without their own private military? The streets are saying it's extortion. The streets are saying it could land me in federal prison. Oh, maybe comedy really is illegal. Topo Chico is owned by Coca-Cola. All right. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Some information that would have been useful yesterday. Adam Sangler. Four of a kind? I would say fuck it, we ball on four of a kind. Probably put your good card first, I would say, but... No, it doesn't matter. I was thinking of ballot. Did you know Balatro's theme song is in a 7-8 time signature? Everybody welcome Maynard James Keenan to the chat. Hello, Maynard. Maynard James? It's actually 7-4. So I'm... I, listen. No, no, no. It's the, this is the opposite of what we want. Um, I'm... I'm not saying I'm an incredible musician. But I'm... Here's my example for saying I'm no slouch, okay? I took music 9th grade, 10th grade, and 11th grade in high school. And in 11th grade, I won an award. I have the framed certificate for having the highest mark in 11th grade music class. That, now, you might say it doesn't mean anything. Well, yeah, it doesn't mean anything to Rolling Stone magazine, but it means something else to the 29 other, you know, midbrains that I fucking cooked, okay? So I know, I know a little bit about how to write a test and sight-read some shit on the clarinet. What's the difference between 7-8 and 7-4? 4. Okay, fucking Enrico Fermi. It's, it actually is vibes. That's the thing, right? Like, like the difference between like 4-4 four, four and 2-4 is like, do you feel like your heart rate is speeding up? So true, actually true. And then 3-4 is like, could um, Archduke Franz Ferdinand waltz to this? I think you're you're a little silhouette of a man. What is what is this guy, man? What is this? Photo! Anyway, I'm chilling. Probably, I might not be chilling. I'm a little scared. I don't want to have to play like two five of a kind because we probably won't be able to play one four of a kind. Throw some dookie at it first. You need to go here. <clears throat> 
It's not a great hand. <laughs> Eight queens remain in the deck. It's that simple. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, well, well. Okay, dude. Everyone's saying, I can't ignore the dookie call. Yeah, we ignored the dookie call. As usual, we ignored chat, and when we ignored chat, we succeeded. Call that Balatro too. How droll, Niles. Since you have a smooth head, does it do more damage during headbutts? You have 1992 in your username. Are you 32 years old? You're asking questions like that in chat? 32 year old ass question? No way. I don't believe it. I'm giving you a chance to defend yourself. That's crazy. Audit? I'm not gonna audit them. I'm just asking. That's true, they could be 31. You could have a late birthday. I do myself. You know what? Sure. Magic deck. Purple steak all over my brain. Bisexual Dracula be like, Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Send it. Hmm. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't know Jimi Hendrix? Self-report. What's your favorite um, frequently misheard lyric in songs? There's, um, excuse me while I kiss this guy. Or um, Paul Simon's Kodachrome. I got an iPhone camera. I want to take a photo. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Okay. Concrete jum Jungle Wet Dream Tomato. That's a classic. Lucy in the Sky with Linus. Revved up like a douche. Another runner in the night. Okay. I guess it rains down in Africa. She got electric boobs? What is that from? She got electric boobs. Is Benny in the Jets? She got electric boobs. I wanna see a movie. I got me living in an allergy. So, yeah. Benny Jesseret. Benny, yeah, dude, it would totally work. It would absolutely work. I can't do it because I can't sing or write a song, but it could work. A guy on TikTok already did it. I'm happy for him. I want to see it. I want to see it. I'll take a gold card. You never know. Ben and Chancellor. <laughs> See, wait, 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 wait. She's got eugenics moves. She's breeding dudes. You know her plans measured in centuries. Oh, Benny Jesseret. Benny. Benny. Benny Jesseret. Oh, there's people outside. I'm sorry. I knew we could get there. I still got it. I just sometimes I need to think a little bit longer. You're gonna make me play my gold card. How could you? Yay! <clears throat> hey NL, <laughs> do I want this one? Hey NL, did you see the DoorDash Reddit post of someone putting signs on their door saying they specifically put contactless delivery and they should leave the food? I thought it was reasonable, but the comments called her a slave master. I don't know about that. I, I gotta know more. It sounds like one of those things. It's easy to get baited into taking a side. 
It just sounds like it's more complicated than the OP's letting on, okay? I'm not willing to take a side on that one yet. When you say the comments were calling her a slave master, do you mean like, um, like the top comment, or do you mean like someone at the bottom, unless you sort by controversial? Am I really gonna live my life flush maxing, man? Shh. Yeah, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think I am. Okay, okay, maybe I am. At least for now. It's time to rest on your laurels. Consider it. First, they gotta, oh, you gotta... Oh, like, because in society today, everybody has laurels. Okay. It's not 1954 anymore, Dwight Eisenhower. Some, nowadays, some of us just have yannies, exactly. Society is so cooked, we used to have... Um, did you see this? Did you see this, Kevin? Really sad late night host. Did you see this, Kevin? Kevin, did you see this? These are my triglycerides. I just got the report from my doctor. Kevin, Kevin, I am going to die. Kevin, did you see this? Kevin, I sent you a text last night that said you up. Did you see this, Kevin? Hello, Kevin? Are you there? I'm dying. Polychrome fucking stone, bro? I'm taking it just because it's weird. You could unstone it? Yeah, I guess I could ruin, like, the cool part of it. What are you even talking about? Now we gotta rethink our whole fucking thing, though. We gotta rethink our whole game from the ground up. Like, how does this shit look, man? How does this shit look? It looks like fucking ass. It's horrific. Okay, I'm not rethinking my shit anymore. I'm going back to the tried, tested, and true. <clears throat> the few, the proud. What are you talking about? Vagabond! It's the best joker in the game. Pair it with this dude right here. You'll have music all night. Sorry, accidental R. Kelly lyric. Ah! They pulled the lever and dropped me into the pit again. I love it. Okay. Check this out. <laughs> Fucking garbage, bro. It was terrible. So have five diamonds left in the deck. Rank me. I would say you gotta you gotta dump on these bad boys right here. Probably you know what? We're gonna we're gonna angle for our heart flush. Take a Hierophant, and then play this garbage. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty good. So let's go like this. Emperor. I was hoping to see like a sun card. Wait, 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 wait. Not you. Well, we, well, we have a flush. <laughs> 
We do have a flush. I would rather use you to turn something into a diamond then. You're going to save our econ at some point. Actually, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was going to say it might be better because of one diamond, but we missed out on a couple enhanced cards. I think we're chilling. Easy. Hello. Anti three. Yeah, I'll go all in on this. I need to spend some money. I need to spend some money. No, we'll wait till next time. Sorry, Vagabond. Wait. No, you sell this and roll. We don't want that garbage anyway. Now, we play none face cards. That's very important. Diamond's still pretty good, though. I'm not going to fool that, though. I'm not going to fool that. We'll play a pair of tens, throw your face cards alongside it. I'm going to be broke. Perfect timing. Maybe we could unbreak ourselves. Y'all? gonna be dead ass with you we win if we get lucky <laughs> we did not win <laughs> lucky save here I saw the vision it's just the way of the world sometimes free shit in the shop polychrome joker don't need it early don't need it early early we need nine 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Hmm. What if I told you we already got lucky because we're living in a world where Balatro came out? You ever think about that? Bet not. What if I told you we easily win this one? Nailed it. Kind of an interesting laddie. You could use your fool card to go all in on three of a kind or all in on high card. No, let's take some earth here. No tens, that's all right. Very discardable card. A gold card is nice as well. Let's go next. Too old to explore the world, too young to explore space, born just right for Balatro. Yeah, but why are we phrasing it like it's a negative thing? I would say, born too early to be forced onto a fucking ship with 98 other dudes just to die of dysentery because we didn't invent lemons yet. They say born too late for that. Yeah, and then born too early to be packed into a fucking exploding airplane and sent to a cold, lifeless planet. I'm, I'm fucking chilling on Earth, bro. I'm having a good time. You can catch my ass on, on Earth. As far as I'm concerned, I know it's... Uh, uh, anathema to admit it these days probably the best planet in the solar system we used to be able to say those things maybe we still can i don't know we're gonna make it man we're gonna we're gonna motherfucking make it we're all gonna make it
Mercury's gone woke. So true. Ever since the eclipse. One extra hand. I need some help though, man. How about... It's just so much easier to get flushes, but... <clears throat> Last lazy age, every next age is workaholic. I kind of feel like we're already in the workaholic age. It's just, I, I mean, you got to remember, the first thing I would say about this is that, like, social media, especially people who buy blue checks and then sell courses, almost everything they tweet is a misrepresentation of their real life. But when I see people that are like, you know, I own... 5,000 car washes hoping to two exit by next year. I'm like, fucking why, man? So you can be the guy who dies with the most car washes? Like, what, do you, what are we doing here? I get it. Like, you want to make sure that things are secure for yourself and your family. You don't need 15,000 self-storage facilities to do it. I mean, it's nice to have some ambition, but like... I, you're gonna think I've taken psychedelics. I swear, I've, I've never taken psychedelics. But don't you realize at some point, like, it's all fake? Once you get over 25 car washes, the rest of them, they can't be adding that much marginal value, right? You really want to be, like, taking care of your sick kid, and then you get a phone call at 11 p.m. You're like, oh, your fucking car wash in Riyadh has, like, a water leak in the hose? Like, no thanks, man. That sounds like it's uh, it's poison to a to a rich life. But what do I know? I only own seventeen car washes. I got to get my hustle up. We need full houses. There's just one problem: we don't have full houses. We've been dynamite at drawing straights, though. There's no question about that. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. It happened. Ooh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> For one brief second, I was pissed off, and now I'm like, it's the greatest Joker of all time. Polychrome Green Joker Anti 2. That's unbelievable, bro. And then give me something to fucking... Well, it would be nice if this gave me a flat molt now that I think about it. It's the flattest molt that's ever molted, bro. It's the, it's the greatest get you could ever get. We also have five hands. I know what I'm doing. Ooh. One more NL supercut will save me, I promise. I know how it is. Me, me posting in Twitch chat from the bathroom. Get it twisted. The streamer playing the exact game you asked for will not save you. The only thing that will save you is buying a Peloton. Now! Yes! Get ready for the most boring Balatro game you've ever seen. Actually true, but like in, but complementarily. Compliment, comp, comp, complementarily. Hold. We hold on that. Could be worse. Could be campfire. Based and not campfire pills. What deck is it? Oh, this is Crystal Ball deck. Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball. Remember that video? Christian Bell. Christian Bell. Christian Bale and Christian Bale. You don't remember that one, huh? Okay. You don't know that one? Christian Bale? Christian, Christian Bale, Christian Bale? Maybe a bit, a bit too cerebral for general audiences, I suppose. Happens all the time. Hey, Jimbo Marshmallow, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Are you a, are you a joker in the game of Balatro? You'll get him next bit. You think so? 
One file of... Oh, he's doing it again. Come on. One file of Franklin's Roiling Crimson Tonic. A pound of wing from Dinosaur Fowl. I mean, Card Sharp is really good. But it's so good that it sucks, is my opinion on that. Yeah. How does that make sense? I don't know. Nah, it won't be necessary. We are fun maxing. We're guys who aren't that good at Balatro. Of course we maximize fun. What about this little so-and-so right here? Why is Mama Liz funny? I, I genuinely don't get it. Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker in Joker 2. You genuinely wouldn't get it. <laughs> oh, man. He doesn't know. There's nothing to get. There's something to get. Mama Liz is actually, um, sure, I mean, it's a real person who made a, really ch a real chili oil, but it's also a reference to the Elizabethan era of the British monarchy, an era that was um, fraught with torture, but also from that torture sprung art, sh such as Shakespeare and the Globe Theater, which you may recognize from Civilization V. There's a lot of layers in it. So when... In a way, it's a subversion of the relationship between colonizer and the colonized because he's dipping a pepper that originally grew in the United States, which was a British colony, into Mama Liz's chili oil. And I don't think I need to tell you what that represents. It's kind of like a how's your father, like we, we Jeet Kune Do and flipped you. So it's not just... Like, oh, isn't it funny that he's using a funny voice and eating spicy food? It's also the ultimate American middle finger to the colonial empire that also birthed them. It's like that resentment between mother and child and child and mother, but at the same time, you're still family. And it's, it's all that wrapped up in 15 glorious seconds of TikTok. And that's what makes that the best platform on earth, people. It is. Six malt, huh? The Webster's Dictionary defines Mama Liz as... Uh, 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 Kawhi Leonard laugh? Sure, $12. I just like the funny voice. Well, then it's great, because I think that that's like... Uh, it's like the hangover part one, okay? So yeah, there's laugh out loud funny stuff. Probably some of the funniest stuff ever put uh, in the cinema is present there. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But at the same time, there's lots of stuff to think about, about like um, arrested development, permanent adolescence and middle-aged men who are constantly afraid of commitment. Our society's relationship with a poison such as alcohol and in particular glorifying binge drinking, even as it has harmful physical effects. I mean, Doug passed out on the fucking roof, bro, in Las Vegas. That dude is jerky now. He was there until like 8 p.m. the next day. He is dead. He got cooked, man. He had no shade. He fucking died. Did we, we were making stuff into diamonds? No, hearts. Hearts. The sun eated him. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what the fuck I'm saying. You gonna watch the Canucks win the Stanley Cup? Brother, we gotta we gotta act like we've been there before. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm saving my money. I don't need anything right now. I'm not like I'm not like other sports fans. I'm normal. I am 
not saying this to try to trick the universe into giving us like karma that's going to make the Canucks have a better chance to win in the playoffs. All I'm going to say is as the world's only normal sports fan, A, we need a joker, so let's sort that shit out too sweet. I'll settle for you for now. We also need to get rid of you, but not for you, obviously. You're just, you're just, you're just, you're just boring, okay? And if you're bored, then you're boring. The irony and the agony. You know, you guys, what's your favorite Harvey Danger song? And you can't have any repeats. I'm going to go first. Um, Flagpole Sitter. Hey, official name. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you guys actually know some other... Harvey Danger songs. I, I would, didn't expect that. Um, what I was going to say is before the playoffs happen and everybody loses their minds, I just want to say thank you, Vancouver Canucks, for a great season. We didn't even make the playoffs last year or the year before that. We made the playoffs the year before that, but it was a bubble dug. It wasn't real. It was fiction. It was headcanon. It was a hallucination. Um... We were not expected to, even Canucks fans would not have expected to win the division. So they've performed substantially better than uh, expectations. Even if they get swept in the first round, it'll sting a little bit at the time. But I think we'll look back and say, you know what? It's still a good season. We had 82 good games. Well, like probably like 70 good games, but still, that's more than most teams. I'm not going to take it. I think Burnt Joker is... It's just not my tempo. This is my tempo. I'm psycho-maxing. Alright, well that's like pure ass, actually, but... You know what? I'm not a puss. You know how I, you know how I know I'm not a puss? Watch this. I spent 84 bucks on a Joker, and it was worth every penny, bro. Sheesh. What are you doing? We're having fun. I know it's a foreign concept in gaming this day and age. Hey, NL, you're going to slow down your ability to get the battle pass by 1.2. Man, fuck it. We're balling out of... If I made a mistake, it's that I'm winning too fast, man. So I'm, I moved Blueprint. I don't think it's going to give us two Spectrals, to be fair. But I do think that it allows us to play two hands, which accelerates the Green Joker Molt twice as fast, which is important. Nah, not necessary. It says incompatible. Fuck it, we ball. Whoops. <laughs> Worth. Fuck it, what do we care? I'll send, I'll send it for a tarot. Toss some mud at him. Never a doubt in my mind. Never a doubt in my mind. <laughs> Too close for comfort? It, wa it wasn't even scary at all. This is purple steak. I guess we should chill a little bit. We don't need any more spike. We, we actually should be sane. We got a lot of jokers that don't do anything. But you're a fucking stud, bro. That's a fucking stud right there. What are your thoughts on Texas mud? Texas mud is this a, um, this is lean, right? This is a kind of lean and we're not talking cuisine. My money.
Is anyone going to answer the question? No, because it's all a spectacle to you. I understand. Are you crazy? I just walked over here. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what they're talking about, which is why I brought it up. What the heck is Texas mud, bro? Wow, it was horrendous! I guess high card is better for us. I might be dead, bro. I might be fucking dead. <laughs> you sold your chip, Joker? Yep. You can discard? Well, hang on a second. Everybody just chill out a motherfucking second here. This is gonna... You're gonna give me a lot of chips. You're gonna trigger twice. Your chips and your... Uh, I think you send it. Send it. We're chill. We're chill. Chiller than you are. At least chiller than you are. Hmm. Hi, priestess. It's so over. We're actually going to win easily because I'm not going to make any more mistakes. I'm not raining it in any longer. I'm going off, man. Bloody brilliant. Sock isn't even doing anything yet. That's why I put it there, so we wouldn't win too fast. I understand it's not a concern for most people out there, but I try to work on my stamina in Balatro a little bit. Like, I could be on a run for like 45 minutes, 90 minutes. I can not even finish at the end of that bitch. You got nothing to worry about. You're in good hands. Green Joker, so true. Yeah, there he is, right there. You spotted him. Where's Waldo Champion, 1998? Best run of all time. The Cavendish breaks today. You're getting too cocky. I dare it, man. I dare it to break. Pick a number between 1 and 1,000. Wrong. It was, it was 7.231. I didn't say pick an integer. 25,000 points, one hand. All right, that actually sucks ass. Play your stone. Play your stone, bro. Just play your stone. You can play the king too. Oh, you geniuses. You geniuses. You're genius. You're geniuses. I just don't know what to do with you. I just want to see what this looks like, okay? I just want to take a peek at it. Hmm, pretty good. Hold it here. Why did they ruin some of the emotes? What are you talking about? You talking about PogChamp again?
I'm just, I'm not taking a stand in the culture war. I'm just saying Komodo hype is not it. It hurts when you show up, you know what, in a streamer's chat and you type pog and then you get um, pog bones, which I don't even know what that is. Like it's from Dave the Diver or something. And then there's uh, pog champ, which is now Komodo hype. And you're like, I mean, as soon if I come to your chat, it's not even your fault. If I come to your chat and I drop pog autocomplete and it becomes pog bones, I can't show my face in your chat ever again. Like, I'm embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed on your behalf. I'm in, now people have seen me with my verified check mark typing pog bones. It's like calling your teacher mom or something like that. Like, it's just, it's just not going to fly. There's no recovery from that. Minus one hand size dipped in. Remember that episode of Recess? I live that episode of Recess, bro. I was the kid who called the teacher mom. Now we're cooking. How did it happen? I don't know. It's like I, I was eight. I only knew like seven women and they all occupied like a similar role in my life of teaching and nurturing me. Let's just not get too crazy here. Public school kids be like, I called my teacher mom. Homeschool kids be like, I called my teacher a bitch. Is this anything? Is this anything? Spoiled kids calling their mom a bitch, even though their mom sacrificed everything to try to give them the best life possible. This is how the plus twos are flowing, bro. Few minus twos from homeschooled kids probably thinking, doesn't everybody call their mom a bitch? No, we fucking don't, bro. If we did, we regret it for the rest of our lives. It's a detestable impulse. That's a Russell Peters bit? No shot, I stole a Russell Peters bit. I'm not, I'm not getting into it, but I would be surprised. <laughs> a very different style of joking, I think. Coming a little bit here. I was homeschooled plus two. Did you see that Elon Musk was tweeted? We just had our first kid. Do you have any advice for us, Elon? And he said, be careful what they teach your kid in school. The kid is fucking one day old, brother. What are you talking about? Like, obviously, it's an insane thing to say in the first place is like your number one parenting tip. But to someone who just had a, a, a little baby, what are you talking about, man? Anyway, sorry. I didn't mean to bring... I'm just... Who asks Elon Musk anyway? Well, he does have 11 kids, so I can see why. I don't know. Should you be? We're on anti, so we're probably crushing it, man. I didn't say anything else. All, I, all, I, all I've said to this point was facts, okay? If you got a problem with that, look in the mirror. Now, chat's saying some things that are not so nice. Maybe I agree with them. Maybe I don't agree with them. But I'm not putting them into the record on my to be to be encased in a, a digital clip that could be shared. No, of course not. That's they, they can choose what to say and what not to say. I'm going to exercise a little bit of restraint. None discards, huh? I did watch the Conan O'Brien Hot Ones, by the way. I thought it was good. I don't have anything else to say. I thought it was good. Good video. I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> he went crazy. He did. 
Am I the only person who thinks maybe hot ones would be better if they took away the wings and the sauce? I'm not- I'm not trying for like a hot take, but... <laughs> you're not the only one, but you're probably in the minority. Okay, alright. He did play with the form. I got nothing but respect for the goat. Oh, hello. How well do you think you'd do on Hot Ones? I think it would be a good interview, um, but I, I'm, I mean, that would be hot. I'm sure it would be hot. I'm sure the food would be very spicy. So what, you just want two dudes sharing a glass of milk? I'm, <laughs> listen, I didn't think it out, although I didn't expect to be persecuted for my beliefs. We won, right? Like it's it's over. We win Balatro. Don't go anywhere. Well, we might not win. Hang on. We got everything we throw is Dookie. Which which one of these fuckers is blueprint, chat? Middle? You just played right into my hand. Chat, that doesn't seem right, bro! It is right? Oh, okay. Okay, no, nothing to worry about then. It literally was? Okay, sorry, I was mad for no reason. We win these, bro. I was unwilling to discard just because I was worried about the knock-on effect. Like, here, I was thinking about it psychologically for myself. One discard only decrements green joker by one. No big deal. But what if I discard and then I don't draw anything good? Psychologically, I'm going to be like, oh, well, if I did one discard and got nothing, then it's like, that's a sunk cost. We got to go in and discard again. And I was worried about, like, the potential knock-on effects. We probably would have drawn something to get us to a full house at least, but... We made it either way. We'll call that fucking Balatro 3, I think. I don't know. I got one more in me. These are not easy stakes, y'all. These are not easy stakes. Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> Me at Gordon Ramsay's Steakhouse. Old man voice. You know I've been there. How was it? It was pretty good. I can't... I mean, I complain about the price, but what do you expect? Fifty chips? Why not? Who says no, brother? Fifty extra chips? Even better than the keg? I mean, I'm being careful about what I say. I would say that Gordon Ramsay's Steakhouse in Las Vegas was probably better than the keg. I think the keg is like pretty good. It might be like the last good Canadian chain restaurant. Here we go again. What about Earl's? I think the keg might be like the last good Canadian chain restaurant. I'm not like super anti-Earl's, but like 
It's not, it wouldn't be my first choice. Let's put it that way. Milestones? Are you crazy, brother? You know, one time I went to Milestones with my wife. She ordered popcorn shrimp appetizer. They served her as shrimp on a bed of popcorn. And then I think she got like pad thai or something for her main. And then the noodles were like this long. Like whoever cooked it obviously like pulled up the noodles and was like snip, snip, snip. Like people are complaining about the noodles being long. You're lying. I swear to God. And that this milestones then went out of business like three years later. But like it was, it's bad. Milestones, not good. At least that one. Brother, I'm not, I'm not taking any of this garbage. You got to do better. This is the same bit as grilled salad. It's not a bit. This is some shit that happened to me in my life. Also, I know we've talked about the grilled lettuce from the, the Gordon Ramsay show in the past. That's like one of the things on Kitchen Nightmares that he made fun of that I was like, I bet that's probably fucking good, man. It's a little bit non-traditional to put the romaine straight on the charcoal, but like it, it looked pretty. I would eat that salad, no doubt. How about a joker that does something? A joker that does something, if only briefly. I think Gordon was, he was off the pen for that one. That's just my two cents. Could always use some money. What would happen if Benjamin met Benjamin? I assume you're talking about Benjamin Franklin. So if Benjamin Franklin met the Benjamin, I feel like I'm not a historian, but I think he hits that shit. Also, doink. You have no face cards in your deck. I bought it to be temperance maxing. Get it twisted. You should be temperance maxing at all times. What did I tell you? You know what? Let's just see what we get here first. Egg. Okay. Zero malt, zero money. Things you love to see. All cards are considered face cards, huh? <laughs> I don't have any face cards in my deck, do I? Do I, Mama Elizabeth? You be? Outplayed, outplayed, outplayed. Little light on the malt. Little light on the malt. Oh, grease lightning. I need malt. Multiples. I need malts. You're not malt, but you know what? You are malt. And you're malt. Brother, I'm so sorry. You're giving me eight malt. Don't do it. Don't run it back. Don't, don't. Ah! Well, okay, one sec. Skip me for malt. Sell me though I love you. Kiss me through the phone. Run it back. Hey, NL, were you alive when Montana's had barrels full of peanuts they'd bring around as appetizers? Um, I don't think I ever went to Montana's when it was like that, but definitely I have that exact same story from... Eastside Mario's, or as they call it in Canada, Eastside Mario's, a bada boom bada bing. Restaurants, like if you weren't alive in the 90s, it's not your fault, okay? But even shitty restaurants used to be kind of fun. You know what Eastside Mario's, 
you while you were waiting for a table, they had shelled peanuts. You could pick them up. And you ate the shells, and you or you ate the peanut. You threw the shell on the floor. Then at the end of the meal, you the the person who paid the bill spun a fucking wheel, and the wheel had shit on it that was like you know. $20 gift card, free appetizer next time, like buy one, get one free entree, whatever. Take a baguette and Caesar salad home. But then one of the things on the wheel was you got to sweep up the fucking peanut shells, man. They can't do that shit anymore because they're like, I don't know, because it's owned by a private equity corporation or like the health department would get pissed off or something. It used to be like a game show and like some bad pasta. Whatever, they're face cards, man. It's actually still pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Going out used to be an event, man. Grandma used to get her hair done. Go out to Swiss Chalet. Give me some Venus. I mean, enough assholes probably said, I'm not doing that and ruined it for everybody. No, I'm radicalized. What ruined it for everybody is Eastside Mario's decided they didn't want to be a fun restaurant anymore. They wanted to have six locations in every Canadian town, over 50,000 people, which required like streamlining the business and no longer were they in the business of providing a good time. Instead, it's you get the same eggplant parmigiana no matter which city you're in. Then they got sold to like a Brazilian private equity firm or something like that. And now it's not even about the franchisees making money. It's just about siphoning it up to the top. So no, you can't have fun anymore. You got a $24 French onion soup that comes from a Cisco bag that they kept in the back. And you don't get to spin the wheel or eat the peanuts anymore. Some dude in Sao Paulo is loving every minute of it. What do you think about Moxie's? I have a question about bruschetta, okay? When I was a kid, a teenager, 15, 16, anytime me and the lads went to Moxie's, we'd get bruschetta, and I was like, this is the tastiest thing in the, on planet Earth. Garlic bread with pico de gallo essentially on top of it, it's delicious. Went a long time not really eating that much Italian food. Started going out to more Italian restaurants because one of the only foods my daughter actually likes is, is pasta. And every time I'm at a new Italian restaurant, I'm like, we'll start with the bruschetta, okay? Every bruschetta I've had at real Italian restaurants since then paled in comparison to my mind's eye memory of Moxie's. Now, I know that Moxie's is bad. It's the same bagged stuff that I just got on Eastside Mario's for doing. So is it that I didn't know what I was tasting back then? <laughs> or I don't know, man. I don't know. I got bruschetta in Toronto. They put cheese on it. Based, because cheese tastes good. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You piece of garbage. Nah, we're straight chilling. Okay. We put cheese on bruschetta in Italy too. Thank you, Italy! Thank you! Eep. We win these, bro. So I'll tell you what, discard, discard, discard. Then by discard, of course, I mean play, because that's all we got. A flush is 35 times 4. Two pair is 20 times 2. I'm no math whiz. And we want that. Michael, Michael, thank you for the raid. Daniel, thank you for the raid. 
Michael with the smiley faces. What could it mean, Michael with the smiley faces? Michael with the smile. Michael! Is it like a Dwight Schrute? Michael. Michael? Michael. <laughs> it's the banana? By the way, I heard a pop. Did my did I pull something or did my banana break? Did I even have a banana? I was kind of going off on East Side Mario's for a while. I forgot what was happening. Thank you again for the raid, Daniel. Thank you. Popcorn! I should have... If I sold it, I probably wouldn't have lived. Okay. Why do I have $63, bro? I'm freaking rich. Okay, you got to get pumping. Hmm. Pumpa? I don't think we can take it. I think it's too late. I resent it for showing up because everyone's going to say you got to take it. It's too late. Not good. Not good enough at this stage of the game. I'll take it just for the moment. We're going to need a multi multa at some point, but... Some disco. I mean, I hate to say it, man. Flushes are kind of popping for us. Straights are kind of popping for us. Kate spilled. No face cards. Wrong brother. All face cards. And it only took us seven jokers to make it happen. Okay, I need to look at our boss blind. Cards previously played are debuffed. That's insanely horrible for us. Admittedly. Mouth required. Do you have none molt molters? You might you might be right on that one. You might be right on that one. I think I have to take this just in case all face cards get disabled on a future blind. Play diamonds now. Is bait? I don't think it's bait. I think you're you're bait. Baiting me into making a wrong decision. So that you can pretend that you made the right decision in chat later. I think that's the, the real bait of the situation, quite frankly. We're still chilling. We are playing our entire deck, which is pretty bad because, like, cards we play get debuffed. I guess I could just spend, like, three cents and re-roll it. We should do that. We should do that. Favorite and most hated candies. What a question. What a question. Favorite and most hated candies. Favorite candies. Starburst. Skittles. Most hated. I love Swedish Fish Sour Patch Kids too. You're right. No joke about that. Chocolate covered raisins. Wine gums? Wine gums are pretty bad. I got stuck at the grocery store the other day behind a lady who was like, hang on, I just need to go. Like, she was in front of me, but the candy is after the register. It's kind of a weird grocery store. She said, hang on, I got to get some Lifesavers. And then she walked over and perused the Lifesavers shelf for like, must have been, it, it felt like 10 minutes, but it was probably like a good 45 seconds. And then she came back, I shit you not, two originals. You know, like the rainbow lifesavers. No disrespect. I mean, I'm glad she got what she wanted. It's a, it's a pack that I would choose for myself. But you're really going to, you know, stand there at the ice cream display, think for 20 minutes, get 15 free samples, and then say, I'll take one scoop of vanilla in a cup, not even a waffle cone or nothing. Makes me sick, bro. Usually, yeah, you're fraudulent. Imagine if Bloodstone worked with 
ancient joker man that's not so bad none clubs none clubs okay okay not clubs sure sure not clubs sure sure not clubs That's not a flush, but it is ace, two, three, four, five. How about some clubs, bro? One club is never enough. I'm, I got a dump, like it's, it, it's a full dump here. Vanilla is tasty. I'm a vanilla respecter. I just don't respect you for bilking the ice cream shop um, of free samples and delaying the experience of everyone else behind you just to order vanilla. If you know you want vanilla, that's fine. Go in with one scoop of vanilla in a cup. You don't need the free samples. You're, you're gumming up the works. If you don't know what you want, get the free samples. That's what they're there for, okay? It is a curb bid, but it's based on reality, bro. Is it fair to say your proportion of unemployed viewers has risen since Germa's retirement? Look who's talking, brother. We're talking about ice cream. Something downright presidential. You come in here with like some meta streamer commentary? When we have the mandate of heaven right now? Rude ass. Plus, he's not retired. He's semi-retired. He's doing... He's streaming now and then, and he's doing cooked events for uh, uh, Mogul behind the scenes, man, for off-brand. Why are they trying to pit two bad bitches against each other? We go next. That puzzle stream was not it. It honestly must be exhausting to be German, man. Dude was probably like, I, I, he just, I'm just gonna go live do a puzzle. People are analyzing it like it's the fucking Godfather Part Three. His puzzle arc, mm, little bit of a dip in quality for that one. No wonder he's semi-retired, man. I want out too. <laughs> it's too much scrutiny for this medium, man. You guys are pushing the goats to the margins. What are you doing? Then he, he re says he's retiring and these viewers are coming into my chat. Hey, what do you think of the Germa puzzle stream? Like, just let the dude rest, man. Let him, let him have some rest and relaxation. You love clubs. Time at the club versus impact at the club. I mean, we do have three, fucking four, five, six, seven. We do have two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd rather play a club flush, though. Club flush is even enough. Mm, it doesn't suit me. <laughs> it doesn't suit me. I would prefer not to. Dance yourself clean is better, bro. Yeah, obviously. One touch isn't even like a... Top five song off of This Is Happening. Well, let me think. Hmm. This is really bad, by the way. You got Dance Yourself Clean. You got um, I Can Change. You've got Home. One Touch is on the, is, is on the Peloton playlist, I gotta say, by the way. Sound of Silver is better. It's close. It's close. Someone great. That's not on This Is Happening. Napster ass fucking music collection. No disrespect. This, I think this is what we got to play. There's just a problem. There's no clubs, but. Pow, pow, pow. Got to be one of the goaded songs of all time that name drops Bruce Valanche. 
Oh, eat it, Michael Musto. You're no Bruce Valanche. I don't know what the fuck James Murphy's talking about, but I'll be damned if I'm not pogging out of my gourd when he says it. Insane diss track, so true, you're right. Bruce never even replied. Bruce got ethered, I haven't heard of him since. Unless Hollywood Squares is still on the air. Do people know who the fuck Bruce Valanche is? He's a guy from Hollywood Squares, which means he probably did something before I was born. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Bruce Valanche, bro. Yes, he's the one with the glasses. The nostalgia critic. <laughs> you got me. The nostalgia critic was on Hollywood Squares. Diamonds, finally. Some real freaking food. We don't need a freaking... Well, well, no, it's good to save your discards. Let's, let's send out a pretty decent one and then see where we stand. to me Did we already do the David Spade bit yeah 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 full house full house not too bad sorry to lose the steel but it's got to be done Michael Musto at the village voice upon hitting track eight after being asked to review LCD sound systems new album this is happening what do you say fuck me for I lived, bitch. <laughs> we need some help, man. You know what? Our econ is pretty good. <laughs> okay, that's that's insane. I need some help, though. I need some help, man. Molt is help. I'm sorry to say it. Molt is help. Molt is help. Six extra molt is important. It would be nice if you molted at the end instead of at the start, but... Okay. I mean, I can dump you for you. But I'd really prefer to have another score generator. <laughs> we do have a lot of those in our deck. Because we don't have face cards. Sure. These chips are both are out! He loves hearts, okay. <laughs> okay. If you say so, buddy. Uh, discard the non fibbies. That's pretty good. I'm going to discard all y'all. Ace 8534. We'll take that. What was that horrendous sound? Sometimes I'm just making noise, man. It's not always a rhyme and a reason to it. Huge. Fibonacci saves. Yeah, but Esposito scores on the fucking rebound. Every once in a while, you got to keep the Canadians happy. A little bit of a... We, we made the, the Kyrgyzstan fans happy two days ago. Made our Uzbekistan fans very dis disappointed. Very disappointed. They thought they could trust me. We're playing flushes. We're flushing. Phil's the goat. Yeah, he's the goat of like buying uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning and then letting the Yakuza run them in the early 1990s or whatever. Is that a rumor? I don't know. I guess I have like a public platform. I shouldn't just be saying stuff. Mouth loves clubs. Hmm. Joni loves Chachi, but you think Chachi gives a flying fuck about Joni? What the hell is this, man? Okay. You and 
nobody else. You discarded a club? I think I discarded a club I could have strengthened as well. It was a fib club. I was sick yesterday, I can confirm. Throw up sick is way worse than poop sick. I burst some blood vessels in my face. I mean that, when we had that discussion long ago, that was for me where I realized like, I'm, I'm arguing from lived experience and not everybody, but many people in chat are arguing from theoretical LARPing existence. People were like, they were telling me a guy who almost died of pooping. They were like, pooping sick is worse than throwing up sick. And I'm like, no, man, throwing up sick is way worse. At least when you're pooping sick, you can just be on your phone. Even when the Salmonella and Campylobacter were ripping through me, most of the, I mean, I was still going to work. I was kind of like, I was just wordlessly playing Fall Guys while my blood slowly got more and more toxic, but you're throw up sick. You can't do anything else, man. It, it, it's like an interrupt. It's like when th someone plays an instant in Magic the Gathering, it takes over the stack. He loves spades. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Because we don't have any fucking spades. If I'm about to fucking expire and I've only got time to say one more fucking sentence in this mortal coil, I don't think with my dying breath I'm going to say Tron fucking spades. Nobody knows what it is. They know, Canadians know what it is, bro. That's FUBAR. That's FUBAR 1. No, don't need it. Never seen it? Fubar 1 and 2 are both worth watching. I actually think Fubar 2 is a little bit better, which is controversial. It's very rare for a comedy sequel to surpass the original. I think Fubar 2 did it. Fubar 1 is like 77 minutes long. It's an easy watch. Fubar 2 is more like a traditional comedy film, but I think they did it, man. I think they did a great job. The more I see FUBAR 2, and I've probably seen it like eight times at this point, the, the more I think they nailed it. Two of spades, bro. It's that easy. I put on FUBAR when the my uncles were visiting. I don't think they vibed with it. Well, it's got that Blair Witch thing going on, right? Where, like, if you're 50, you're like, is this real? FUBAR has bad reviews, never even heard of it. Excuse me? Nuts on the table, we're doing a Rotten Tomatoes check. FUBAR movie. 2002 film. Rotten Tomatoes says... 55%. That's not bad reviews. That's mixed reviews. 6.8 on IMDb. That makes it number 217 on the top 250. Now do FUBAR 2. Now do FUBAR 2. Three and a half on Letterboxd. That's up there with Dune 2, bro. 87% audience score. 90? Run the FUBAR 2. 90 on Rotten Tomatoes. Vindicated. All right, all right, let's watch this film. Let's watch this film with popcorn. I'm, I need a hit, man. I'm so desperate to go viral again. I need a fucking hit. I'll do anything. There's 11,000 people here. There's 11,000 fucking people here and nobody's tapping the screen. There's 11,000 people. Okay, anyway. 51. 51 malt, man. 51 malt. What are you? Mouth loves spades. Mouth's gonna carry us to the promised land. 
Thanks for the follow. You guys are great. Oh, man. Takes me back. Mouth loves spades. Mouth loves spades. Spades. We don't have any fucking spades. Fibonacci cards should be on the left, so the molt gets molted bigger. Now he's getting it. Fibonacci cards should be on the left? Yeah, but spades should be on the right. What the fuck? It's impossible? The math is incontrovertible? Mouth loves hearts. I've been waiting for this motherfucker to love diamonds, bro. Come on, hook me up here. Sixty-three molt on this ladder. You kid me, man? Are you fucking kid me? Start with zero discards. I need ten dollars. I need ten dollars. Mouth loves hearts. Okay, that's that's actually pretty good. Never mind. That's fine. Gangsters don't cry. You piece of shit. Oh, you wouldn't do this. Not after what we've been through. Two, eight, three, nine, seven. Uh, well, we will not be re-rolling the boss blind. Um, mouth loves hearts. Love diamonds, bro. None discards is really bad. The shit, uh, shit ain't even hearts, brother. Sorry. We need the malt. Or a better joker. 15 malt? I can't sell my enablers, brother. I'm sorry. Thanks for the three malt. Okay, zero discards. Mouth loves hearts. We gotta gear up for one incredible heart flush. So I would say, honestly, we're better off not playing the nine because we want the ace to score as a Fibonacci enabler. Okay, two, eight, five, ten, seven. Mm -mm. Ah, it's horrible! Rip. It's horrendous. Okay, I got one more in me. Abandoned deck, none face cards. Maybe don't commit to an archetype that requires us to keep three different jokers around just to make face cards happen. Perfect time for a straight build, bro. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was cool. It was cool. You're right. Ride the bus early. That'd be nice. Green Joker early. That'd be crazy. Hey, it's not so bad. Jumbo Buffoon, pretty good. Oh. Who said that? <laughs> P-Tone. Congratulations. You've just been made VIP. Mod, let's not go crazy. I'm not trying to ruin my stream. <laughs> get it twisted around here. Clairvoyant individuals get VIP'd. I'm all in. Mm, I'm not. Mm, yeah, I'm all in. I'm all in. Dunky dunk. Dunky dunk. Dunk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, just, just having a laugh. I want to play straights. I'll settle for two pair for now. I don't want to win too fast. Think about baseball. Well, if you're not going to score, then I'll fucking... 
And I'll do this shit then. You think there's a guy out there who tried to last longer in bed, so every time he was having sex, he was thinking about baseball? But now when he turns on Sportsnet, he just fucking comes instantly? Maybe the... I don't know if it's that powerful. What are you talking about? Is this like a boomer thing? Did, does Gen Z not know about the meme of thinking about baseball during sex so you don't come too fast? Or are they, all, they don't need it because they're all on SSRIs? I took the joke from Chad. You can't be mad at me. I took it from you. I took it from you. I don't even know what the fucking SSRI is. I was book smart, so I know what it stands for. It's a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, but I don't know what the fuck you use them for. It's a Tekken combo. <laughs> Plus two. Six multiple. Hmm, Mr. Potter. Six multiple. You ever think it's crazy? Um, hang on. I'm thinking about where I'm going to go with this one. 40 times 40. It's going to actually be, hang on, 9, 6, 25. 65 times 10 is enough. Craziest thing about Harry Potter. They sent that motherfucker to the train station by himself to board the train. He was like nine years old. People my own age will like go to another country on vacation where the country that they visit also speaks the same language as the country they left from. And they'll be like, uh, I'm just going to take a taxi. I don't want to bother learning how to use the subway system. Harry Potter was fucking nine, bro. He was nine years old. I would love four enhanced numbered kids. Kids? Cards. <laughs> I don't want enhanced or <laughs> numbered kids. I'm okay with one. I thought he was 11. Mickey Mouse American version of the Philosopher's Stone. In Canada, he was five years old. Fifteen malt, that's pretty good. You know, why not? No? Well, I actually kind of go crazy on ride the bus, honestly. Eventually? Nah, we wait for it. We, I just, they gotta buff this, brother. They gotta buff this. Too much risk. Hmm. So people got. Sorry. You ever listen to Randy Newman uncharitably? What are you talking about? You never, you never heard of Randy Newman. Oh, the guy who did "You Got a Friend in Me." No, the dude who made the scathing anti-short person song. Short people. That song's wild. Yeah, you couldn't write short people these days. It's too wholesome. All the songs these days are about killing people. I was gonna kill a couple rappers. They did it to themselves. Everybody's suicidal. They don't even need my help. This shit is elementary. I'd probably go to jail. If I shoot at you, I do it, then... Yeah, you, you, I, you know I know it. You know I know it. Comedy is illegal. Sorry, I just hadn't said anything for a while. More. Gary Newman woke, Randy Newman broke. Uh, I'd say they're both... Um, I don't know if they're woke. I don't want to put that evil on them unnecessarily, but... I would say they're both woke. I got nothing against Randy or Gary. I think we make it easily. 
So we fucking send it, bro. We don't do that. We do this. Randy Newman is a gazillionaire from all that crap he coughed out. It's not crap. It's a good artist, man. Even, like, you got a friend in me. Kind of a... a you, I, you were there is what I'm trying to say, okay? Kids movies didn't get songs like that in 1995, all right? It is a little Lyle Lovett erasure, but whatever. Are you Julia Roberts? No, then mind your own business. Evil Randy Newman be like, you got an enemy in me? You got an it tall people got no reason. So Randy Newman is good, but hey there, Delilah is bad. Me and the other successful 35-year-olds are taking your comment out of context. We're taking a screenshot of it. We're going to Appy Hour at Earl's. We're ordering kimchi margaritas and we're laughing at you. Yes. Yes, Randy Newman's over clears Hey There Delilah by the Plain White Tees. I don't know, by a factor of 35 million, maybe something like that. What's a kimchi marg? Obviously, you guys have never been to Earl's. So they love to do that. It's chicken tender bibimbap. So if you're not familiar, bibimbap is kind of like it's this Korean dish that means like um, mixed sauce. And then we just went ahead and threw some of our kicking chicken tenders in there too. Then we added some spicy mayo on top just to make it really nice and authentic. We served it with a slice of garlic bread on the side. You can only play none repeat hand types, you say. Okay. Well, in that case, in that case, what do you have? This is still so fucking flushable. Me putting 10 billiard balls down the 12 billiard ball toilet. Three of a kind probably gets us there, right? 36 times. I can't do that. 36 times 40? That gets us there, bro. That gets us there with fucking bells in hand. Easy. Don't be seduced this time. Keep it going. We are, we're, we're waiting for another good joker. But we, we're trying to get our econ pumping at the same time. 10,000. They're not fucking around with the damn purple anti-scaling, bro. Ah! <laughs> We're straight chilling, right? Full house hasn't even been upgraded. We played six of them. We played like none of our upgraded hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're straight chilling. We're straight chilling, bro. We're straight chilling. Twenty-one points, and uh, and the card broke. <laughs> all right, all right. We got to do the dull stay. We got to play something that's not Balatro. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. We'll come back and play the dull. See you in two minutes.
Sorry, I ate a protein bar. What flavor? Kirkland. That's not a flavor? I mean, they only make one kind, I think. <laughs> so I, that's the one I got. You know, the red and white box, 36 in one. Those are good. I like them. Um, my daughter used to eat them for breakfast. She enjoyed them for breakfast. Um, then she stopped eating them for breakfast. She said she doesn't like them anymore. You know what she eats for breakfast now? One untoasted slice of white bread. That's my girl. You might think, like, if you looked into our windows at breakfast time, you would think that we're neglectful parents. But, like, she genuinely doesn't want anything for breakfast except one untoasted piece of white bread. No, no butter, no jam, no peanut butter, no nothing, man. <laughs> Satanic. I'm always like, do you want, like, I could cut up some fruit. You could throw the fruit in some yogurt or something like that. She's like, nah, I just, just bread. And it's, it's pissing me off because she's stealing all my bad habits. Now, whenever she doesn't want something, she crosses her arms in front of her in the shape of an X. I'm like, can I toast that for you? She hits me with the X arms. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> I should have solved all of my annoying habits before I had a kid, man. That's hard, though. That's hard. You know what? Swag Wednesday. Aren't your bad habits streaming? Yeah, maybe streaming piss from my dick into my pants when I'm on the bus, bitch. Just, just chatting. They don't have a dulls category, huh? Just chatting. Why don't you just go in the toilet? Oh, so everybody has toilets now, huh? A little presumptuous. Wash my hands after I go to the bathroom. Oh, can you buy me some soap? 12 year olds on Twitter who said they were born in the year 1995 so they could get an account and join the, the world's public square. I'll have you know, some of us don't get enough allowance to spend on hand soap. Sorry, I'm still working on it. Still workshopping it. Hang on, I got a burp. I'm back. There's something there. There she goes with the blurt blurtation, pissing away in the congregation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought it was X, but she talks like Y. Reminds me I'm just a funny guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look to the left and she dips to the right. I'm afraid that she might see me as a finger licking chicken eater. Wants to do it or two. Afraid the to fly solo never did land. Hey, everybody's hero. Thanks for the gifted subscription. Thank you. You see John Lennon's huge ass on Twitter? Nope. None of these words are in the Bible. They call them the dolls, but they're anything but. It's 
sorry, I can't repeat what Chad is saying right now because it'll get the video demonetized. Is the swear word for butt in the Bible? Oh, it's uh, describing a, a donkey, perhaps. Did you hear the Conan O'Brien story from Hot Ones where he said that he climbed on top of a water buffalo before the show once and the thing bucked him off and he almost broke his hip on the floor and then it tried to gore him to death? That's crazy, man. That happened in like 2000 and... Must have been like 2013 or something like that. That's not like a 1980s story. Imagine he died like that. I say this, Conan is my goat in many ways. It would be a funny way to die in hindsight. Funniest guy ever dies in water buffalo goring accident on the set of his own show. I'm happy he's alive, but like that it if he had to go at that day, that would have been a better way to go. Well, for us, it would have been a better way to go than like hit by a bus or something. Imagine Jimmy Fallon having like a moment of silence on his show because Conan O'Brien got killed by a water buffalo the day before. Jimmy Fallon's like 45. Just fucking don't laugh. 44, 44, 43, 42. <laughs> I don't mind him, honestly. I, I mean, I don't, I don't stand up for Jimmy Fallon, but I don't mind him. Just looking at Poke Doku now. Sino Huzui, baby. Austin Powers translated into a foreign language. I don't know. I don't know any of this. Which one is Hazui? Is that the bird in the backpack? That's Arceus Legends. Okay, I'm cooked. Let's just X out this row right here. Sinnoh is Gen 4. It goes Kanto, Johto, Hoen, Sinnoh. Four is diamond and pearl. Okay. You're going to X out this row too, guys. And then baby Pokemon, I'm... <laughs> uh, uh, listen, is Hitmon top a baby? Because they don't look like siblings to me. Like, it, to me, it looks like this guy chooses whether he's going to go in the Chan mode or Lee mode later. Okay, baby normal, baby poison, bat, y'all, is, is there a younger Pidgey, Benny Safty voice, until, until someone makes an even smaller Pidgey? P dove, can I, can I just put baby? I mean, I'll, here's what I know about babies in Pokemon, okay? I know Smoochum is probably a baby. I'm going to guess that Togepi has baby elements. I mean, it's literally a baby in a, in a fucking shell, dude. Cowboy, I gotta be spotted. Smoochum. Ain't nothing normal about Smoochum, bro. Togepi. Egg type, okay? Machop Mini. Okay, we got if we have any hope, it's gonna be Sinnoh. Sinnoh poison. Lilip. Sinnoh fighting. Hitmon top. Sinnoh fighting. Infernape. Yes! Sinnoh normal. Hmm. <laughs> Sinnoh poison. S sting. Stingo. Tinglu? 
What the hell is Ting Lu, man? It's got a pocket knife for horns? What is what is Ting Lu, bro? What is Ting Lu? It has a Swiss Army knife head? Tinka Tink. Tinka Tink looks like a baby. Tinka Tink. Tinka Ton! Holy. Stack Attacka? Oh, what was I thinking? Sino poison. I know. Gliscor. What's that marshmallow looking Pokemon? Goomy? <laughs> Gudra Hazui! Gudra Hazui? Gudra. Hazui? It's not poison, bro! It's purple! It's a dragon? It has a snail shell, bro! Lilligant Hazui. Ursa Luna. Oh, Riol Riolu is gettable. Stunky Bidoof. Overquill. Weird Deer. That's tough, man. This is a tough choice. Munchlax. Oh, I always forget about Munchlax. That's Borlax, bro. What are you talking about? He's fat. Borlax isn't Stolax isn't fat. He's Jack, bro. He could kick the shit out of you. You know that one? That and Germa, the best two uh, cultural exports out of the Boston area. Cabin in the woods. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 2003. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Oh! <laughs> had that had that 2010 stink all over it, man. Tucker and what? Littering and it is a Reddit tier movie, and I do also like it. I, I would agree with you on that one. Yo, Binks, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Here's a Marvel Snap tip for you. Put the collector in every deck. Take two of those and call me in the morning. It will work. I was trying to think, what's the, what's the two drop that you're guaranteed to draw on turn two every time? Domino? Yeah, that wasn't even what I was thinking of. Thinking of the lady? Maybe she's a one drop? It's been a while. Quicksilver? No, maybe it's the three drop? <laughs> maybe the card doesn't do that, but it definitely has a lady on it. There is no card like that, okay? No, I'm not America Chavez, but I could see why you'd be thinking that, given the clues that I've given you. Thinking of the lady... Kitty Pride? Nope. Misty Knight! <laughs> That's it. What does Misty Knight do? Nothing. She does nothing? So what? We cost two energy. So what? We do nothing. After four seasons in New England, the Patriots traded former Super Bowl MVP wide receiver Dion Branch to this NFC team in 2006. Then they'd trade him back in 2010. Seattle Seahawks. Wow! Doug Baldwin and Kobe Fleener were pass-catching options on this 2010 Pac-12 team that went 12-1 and won, and won the Orange Bowl. Oregon. No. Oh, worth a try. After finishing fourth... Okay, the fourth best pitcher 
in the National Major League Baseball Association. Hideki Matsui. They don't have him. They don't have Hideki Matsui. They don't want him to win. It was Shane Bieber. Okay, Shane Bieber. With its logo being its name in white letters behind the blue background, this toothbrush brand sells standard toothbrushes and electric brushes like their Genius and IO series models. Who is Oral B? Redenbacher? This is Keegan Michael Key. It's Keegan Michael Key, that's a given. You want to be careful with this one. It's a beautiful visage. I'm, I'm getting some Beyonce elements. I'm not 100% sold on it. The beard is kind of throwing me for it. You know what? I'm, I'm willing to go Beyonce on that. I, I did the, the facial tech. No! Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington from The Good Wife. The architect, the, the Keegan Michael Key and the Kerry Washington arrive calmly from their television programs with a sense of purpose. Relax, I'll handle it. Cylindrical tube of pretzel or cracker filled with various cheese flavors. These are called hobnobs. No. Um, hobnobs. Combos? Combos? Combos. Okay, it just took a second. What the hell is a hobnob, bro? I don't think I've ever had a combo, honestly. It's a British biscuit. No, oh, my mistake. Joel McHale originally hosted The Soup, also known as Talk Soup, also known as The Soup. At the 2007 Oscars, this man won the Oscar for Best Oscar for his portrayal of Oscar Amin in the historical drama, The Last Oscar of Oscar. That is Forrest Whitaker. Chandelier. Sia. Almost put scissor for that. Would have been very embarrassed. I'm done. I'm done. I think you're right. I think it's Kerry Washington. Have you played Isaac Dull? This is just for you, okay? I got Bertle today. I'm so happy. I Bertle and Bertle is hard for me, man. Magic mushroom. Good start. Uh death certificate. It's an active item released in repentance. Mm, placebo. Nope. Okay. Which one's repentance again? That was the last one. Uh, what, which one's the one where you yell? You know, the one where... It, uh, maybe I'm thinking of... Uh, Gello? <laughs> that looks right. not that okay oh you were thinking of larynx okay let me oh god they changed the clues to be harder description poop throwable number poop um, um montezuma's re revenge Diarrhea, flatus, poop, fart, shit, caca, Bobby Bomb. Tech X. Silhouette, please. Jar. 
the jar. <laughs> jar. Bottle. <laughs> Stupid quote. Saved for later. In a jar. In a vial. Cup. In a cup. In a sample. It looks like a, a, a urine sample cup. Petrified jar. Brother. Brimstone. I resign. The item was hold. The fuck is hold? Hold? It's tainted blue baby's item. They're doing too much, man. <laughs> you got the wrong guy. Hold? They called the item hold? It's poop you can throw. They said, what's the name? Couldn't, they could have called it pooperang. They said, hold. All right, well, I don't know. Dirt mind, information, intelligence, percentage, follow, observe, observe, regard, to regard, to, f I, I follow you, I stake you, secrets, dirt, secrets, intelligence, hmm, First one's usually the hardest. Percentage. Share. Stake. Interest. Descriptions of your involvement in an enterprise. I follow you. I observe you. I observe. I regard. Post. Hmm. Pillar? Pillar. Pillar's a weird one. Secrets. Something you keep. Secrets, dirt, information, intelligence. That which a spy dallies in. <laughs> Dare I say he's a damn genius? Pole? Pillar? Post, column, what are poles, <laughs> upright supports, easiest connections of all time, hmm. elements of an espionage enterprise, spy tools, my impression, oof dust Americaner, speakings about Regenbogen Struzel, rainbow sprinkles. The bit's growing on me. We're working on it. It's we're still working on it. At some point it has to be xenophobic. Bro, Canada and Germany are chill. Come on, oh, I'll come over, you come over. We'll give you some sushi. You give us some sausage. We'll clink our steins together and sing some songs. We'll have a good time. Don't worry about it. you. Come on. As a German, I allow it. You can't be offended. It's banter, man. It's not like we're making a joke at Uzbekistan's expense. They took offense, and honestly, they should take offense. But we're talking about Canada-Germany violence here in 2024. You ever hear of male bonding? Chinese greeting that means you good. Ni hao. Best in show for one. Christopher Guest. It's a documentary. It's an ensemble. It's a comedy. It's a film. It's a movie. Ballroom music. 
Oh, brother. Modify as a hem. Was out in front, led. Absolutely nothing. I'm in trouble. Stinky tofu has a strong odor. Award, it's award. No! Absolutely nothing, nada. You can count on me, I will. Quickness, haste, like a rainbow's path. Arched, arced. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> Ooh, arced, yes, arced. That's why in French they call it arc en seal or something, right? Something like that. A rainbow. Mon impression of la Canadienne. Écoutez-vous arc en seal, a rainbow. I tried. I tried. Hang on. I got to cough one more time. We're so back. It's a business. El Monterey chicken chimichanga. Have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. 18 five-ounce chimichangas. I got to believe that that's like a $14.99, Andy. I'm going to put my guess in because I want to talk before people accuse me of engaging in chicanery. Pretty good. What the hell's a chimichanga? I know a burrito. A burrito with sauce on the top is an enchilada. What's a chimichanga? It's a, it's a fried burrito. Oh, okay. Is it good for you? <laughs> Sorry. Twelve ninety nine. Pretty good. I mean, that's like seventy cents a chimichanga, bro. That's insanely cheap. I guarantee each one of those is like at least four hundred and fifty calories. That's cheap, man. Six hundred? Even better. It's good for the soul and we're here for a good time. I've been saying that a lot lately. I've been saying it's like because my wife was uh, insulting Coke Zero yesterday. She said it's bad for you because of the chemicals. I said it's good for your spirit. I don't know how to explain it, but I believe it. It's, you can just say that. You can say it about anything. I'll admit you can say like cigarettes are good for the, the spirit. It doesn't have to be true. It's like a mana potion. Good for the spirit. I believe, I actually, I'm, I would say mana potion is fair. If you get it from McDonald's, it's an elixir though. It's a mana potion and a health potion in one. Hmm. Kier Giz Stan. You ever realize Kyrgyzstan kind of shaped like the USS Enterprise? I didn't until now. 6,000 kilometers. Singapore. 3,000 kilometers. Let's go crazy. Seychelles, by the seashore. That's colder, okay? That's the coldest of all. Marshall's Island, that's warmer, but not by much. Tasmania, 
No. Tanzania? <laughs> I don't think that's right. Australia. That's warmer. It's the warmest of all. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Easter Island? No, fuck. Christmas Island? Ugh. American Samoa? <laughs> Vanuatu? It's colder. It's fur... It's fur... It's further away from Vanuatu than it is from Singapore or Australia. Brunei. It's warmer. Close to Australia and Brunei. Micronesia. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Federated States of Micronesia. We're, we're triangulating. Um, uh, 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 Timor and Lest. Timor Lest. That's <laughs> I don't know. I need your help. I don't know what I don't know what we're doing here. I've I've used all my ammunition. Palau. A mystery country is Palau. That's tough, man. That's they got me today. They got me. I thought I was cooking with Micronesia, Brunei, uh, Timor Leste. Like I, I was racking my brain for the usual suspects of of Pacific Islands, but that is a that's a tough one. But you know what? It's a tough one. We learn something. Do you believe in Pangria? I do. I do. This is a fucking lung. <coughs> this is your lung, bro. I don't know what the hell. He's got a fucking snake's tongue. I don't know what you are. Assuming this is like a body of water. I'm just going to throw out like a Pakistan. I don't know. It's Africa. Africa. Mozambique. How about that? <coughs> South of Moz... It's Antarctica! Ha! Huh? South... 6,000 kilometers south of Mozambique. There was nowhere else to go, man. This is not a country. It's not a country. I mean, I'm not mad. It's funny, but it's not a country. Is an is a land mass. It has a GDP and a government. Are they in the United Nations? Who's the president of Antarctica? It's Brittany, bitch. Wait, is that true? October 4th, 2013. Warner Brothers opened a 55 milli. Could be... Ugh, it's way too low for Dark Knight Rises. Don't be silly. Starring Sandra Bullock. 2013. It's the blind side? Genre. Science... Oh, it's gravity! Five points wasted. Tagline, don't let go. Sony Pictures, 38 milli, second week, starring Bill Hader. It's an animated picture. I don't know what Bill Hader was in animated movie-wise. Something big was left over. The Crudes, too. <laughs> After the disastrous food storm in the first film, Flint and his friends are forced to leave the town. Flint accepts the invitation to join the Live Corp Company, 
which has been tasked to clean the island, where the best inventors of the world create technologies for the betterment of mankind. When Flint discovers his machine still operates and now creates mutant food beasts like living pickles, hungry taco dials, chimpanzees, and apple pythons, he and his friends must return to save the world. God is my witness. I, I don't know what you are. It's cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a bit of a blind spot for me. Fake fan. You got me. Hang on, hang on. Justin Timberlake opened to $7 million. This movie is called um, In Time. This movie is called About Time. No. This movie stars Ben Affleck as well. And the house... Oh, oh this is um, Molly's Game. Nope. The house always wins. Gemma Arteten. When a poor college student who cracks an online poker game goes bust, he arranges a face-to-face -face with the man he thinks cheated him. A sly offshore entrepreneur. I fucking saw this movie on an airplane. I don't remember anything about it. It was called... I don't remember anything about it. Runner, runner. Holy, that's a blast from the past. Runner, runner. I 100% saw it on an airplane. Who? Bit of a box office, box office bomb, sure. I don't know, 62 milli worldwide. She went crazy in Tashkent. Warner Brothers, week three, 50% drop off for a movie starring Hugh Jackman from 2013. It's not, it's too late for real steel. Hugh Jackman, drama, it's Prisoners, maybe before the Villeneuve Sance. That's crazy that Prisoners had a 50% a, a fall off week two to week three. That's a fucking classic, bro. That's a great movie. Final gross, 61 million domestic. Shit's barely clear in Runner Runner. Criminal. I didn't see it in theaters. I saw a video on demand. My dad bought it. Great movie, though. 55%. Week 3, Universal Studios. Chris Hemsworth. 2013. Chris Hemsworth. It's an action movie, huh? Everyone's driven by some... Is this Rush? It's Rush. It's a good movie, too. Not a horrible week at the multiplex. Just, you know, skip Runner Runner is what I would say. I would say skip Runner Runner. Go see, go see a Prisoners in Rush double bill. Maybe see Gravity. Be part of the zeitgeist. People don't talk about it that much anymore, but still. I feel the rush. Addicted to your touch. So true. Hey, my friend and I have a bet. We bet you don't know who Troy Sivan is, and if you heard about them, it would break your brain. Care to confirm? Peter Postalwaith. Daniel Day-Lewis, Jake Gyllenhaal, Emma Thompson, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal. I know what I must do. I know what I, I know what I gotta do. 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 Okay. In the name of the Father is where I'm going. Okay. I know. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. Just let me think about this. I'm I'm running through Jake Gyllenhaal ensemble pictures in my head right now. Trying to get to Ben Affleck or Dustin Hoffman. Jake Gyllenhaal Ensemble. Donnie Darko. Featuring... Seth Rogen. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore, Ben Affleck. Drew... Okay. Donnie Darko. Drew Barrymore. Charlie's Angels.
Cameron Diaz. Back it up. Back it up. Let me think about this for a moment, okay? Billy Magnuson. Game night. Rachel McAdams. I'm just seeing who's in this. I know this guy. How do Chad, how do I know this guy? How do I know this guy? He's from the menu. No, 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 no. He's from um he's from the Werewolves Within movie that Ubisoft made. He is also in the menu. Okay, okay. That's your friend, Malf. He does have a certain uh, Malfiness to him, for sure. Fucking catfish gene, bro. Catfish gene. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm stalling. <clears throat> Who am I trying to get? I'm, uh, 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 Dustin Hoffman, who's in the ensemble picture, I Heart Huckabees, with Mark Wahlberg. It's easy. Is it easy? It's easy if I could start at Matt Damon. You need to be Wahlberg maxing. You need to be Wahlberg maxing. Conor McGregor, the fighter. Oh, fuck. What have I done? No, 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 no. <laughs> you say the notorious? Oh, God. Um, probably go with Floyd and Money Mayweather. Oh, Jesus Christ. I guess if I had to, I'd go KSI and the Paul's Primes for Success. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Okay, Jake Paul. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not getting any better, man. It's not getting any better. I guess I'll go... <laughs> what the fuck is this filmography? I'm going mainstream. Okay, okay. Jason Schwartzman, I Heart Huckabees. I Huckabees? Huckabees, Huckabees. To Dustin Hoffman. To fucking Last Chance Harvey. To Emma Thompson. To In the Name of the Father. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. Thank you, Jake Paul. Anybody else get this line? Is this a unique line? Roadhouse to Conor McGregor. To The Notorious. To Conor McGregor. To Floyd Money Mayweather. To Floyd Mayweather Jr. To KSI and the Pauls Primes for Success. To Jake Paul. Jake Gyllenhaal to Abby Singer. Nobody's seen it. Sorry. No disrespect. All I'm going to say is everybody does. They try to do something unique. As soon as they see another motherfucker do something unique, they say, no, you did it wrong. You should have done it the same as everybody else. Sad. It's a sad story. Diaz to Gangs of New York. That's huge news, bro. What's coming back in return? Future considerations. It's Helldivers 2. Metacritic score of 72. It's the Indiana Jones video game. PS3, Xbox 360, PC. Silent Hill 3. Level up, you can spend your AP. RPG Shooter Stealth. Win Back. Project Poseidon. Originally released in 2010.
Skip. Uh, developed by Obsidian? Is this Alpha Protocol? It is Alpha Protocol. All right. He do be crouching. There's no doubt about that. You're the only man to talk about Winback in like 15 years. I thought Winback was an N64 game I always wanted. But I never bought it because I'd always be like, oh, fuck it. I trust Nintendo power. They said it's ass. Let's just get like Banjo-Kazooie or something instead. Then I rented Winback once and I was like, this shit is fucking garbage, bro. I'm glad I didn't buy it. Why did the clip show a stripper? It's 2010, bro. It's a different culture. For better and for worse. Mostly for worse. A little bit for better. The five of the footlongs were still $5 at the time. But Here we go. Here we go. Did you ever rent Gex? No, but check this out. I did, um, I had a, a demo disc for the PlayStation 1 that had Gex 2 on it, Enter the Gecko. And that shit was crazy. It was like Austin Powers was a lizard. You're doing cool third person like action stuff, having a great time. Friend's birthday party. My parents said, what should we get him? I said, you got to get him Gex. He's going to love it. I played the demo disc. It's crazy. So it's not their fault. I told them to buy Gex. Then he unwraps it. He's, it's, he's like, whoa, it's Gex. I can't wait to try it. Puts the disc in his PS1. It's a side-scrolling platformer? They lied to me, man. It was ass. The second one was going off. Tales of Berseria. Symphony of the Night. Fire Emblem Awakening. Sky Correct Saga. Fire Emblem. They got my brother upside down. What is he doing, man? F Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia. <laughs> He's just chilling. I would see they couldn't have had him like standing up or something. Fire emblem, the path of radiance. Fire emblem, three hopes. Game was fire emblem, three houses. Is fire emblem, three houses? My mistake. Not three hopes. That's a different one. This is like an 8,000 pixel wide screenshot. It took two seconds to load. This is Death Stranding. This is Verdun. It's probably Atelier Riza, Ever Darkness in the Secret Hideout. Skip me? I honestly couldn't. I couldn't. Oh, it's for honor. It's for honor. Ah, uh, for honor. They should bring that back. What else is Ubisoft doing right now, anyway? 12 Assassin's Creed games? It never left. Yeah, but they got to make a new one to, like, shake off all the people who've been playing it for, like, the last nine years straight and are ruining the multiplayer experience for everybody else. Nuclear Spelunky. More recent than 2008. We got some yellows on this one. Mm, the Evil Within 2. Single player only game between 08 and 2017. 
that is isometric, probably. Rimworld. Oh! Sometimes it just works. Game they'll guess in three, people will tell you it's luck. Don't get it twisted. It is not luck. It's skill. That's huge. I'm riding high on that one. Take the thumbnail from that. Guess the movie title of the day. Isn't that special? Hmm. It's a real tough one, unless you're a Ridley head. Hmm. Uh, an R-rated 1979 science fiction horror movie beloved by all. Hmm. I guess it could be Alien. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Mr. O'Bannon. Thank you, Mr. Scott, Miss Weaver, Mr. Holm, Mr. Hurt, and the various other people involved. Mr. Geiger, thank you so much. Ripley... <laughs> The war we fought on LV-421, what a war it was. They said nuke it from orbit. We said we can't be sure. We can't be sure. Newt may still be down there. We can't nuke it yet. Paul Reiser said, hang on. Paul, you remember him mad about you, Helen Hunt. You remember. Face eaten by a xenomorph, I believe. That was fun. Um, you know, I haven't played travel in a while. <laughs> Don't fight uphill, me boys. Don't fight uphill. What's with your title? It's fucking Swag Wednesday, bro. Today, I'd like to go from Macau to Kosovo. Okay, step one, put the Dua Lipa track on. We go to China. I honestly thought this was Kosovo and that was Macau, but this puts it into perspective. We're going to follow this up with a little Russia. Now we're cooking. I would probably go Ukraine. I would probably go... Can you... Can you yes, fucking rotate this shit, bro. That's not... I need you to rotate it, bro. I'm Mercator pilled. I can't think. I can't think like this. Bulgaria. Oh no. Serbia. Romania. It's pretty good considering they got the thing all twisted up, man. It's actually, that's one that looked hard because it covered a great geographic distance, but it's actually insanely easy because you got to do China and Russia at the same time. Do the weekly? Oh, brother. Weekly, what's the weekly? Today I'd like to go from Cambodia to Egypt while only traveling along the coast. Okay. Thailand. Myanmar. Now things get a little tricky. We are going to be traveling through Israel by necessity. We're going to be... I got to bridge the gap here, man. I know at some point there's going to be an Iran. And at some point there's going to be an India. India connects to Myanmar. That's crazy. Between Iran and India, you get Afghanistan. Maybe you know you probably just get away with Pakistan. And then Around here, you got like Jordan, Syria, Lebanon. I almost feel like Turkey 
even though like it's only just a piece of it that comes down here, but does that does that give you enough? Are you are you gonna connect down through like Saudi Arabia and then no, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I think you will go through Jordan. No, Jordan is so small, bro. You probably go Syria. No, but it's so close. Iraq? I'm not on the coast, bro. <laughs> Turkey? Where am I where am I coastless? Chat, where am I where am I coastless? Syria has no coast. Okay, thank you. Lebanon? Lebanon has no coast. Cyprus? What? Oh, you're missing one on the south? I, I've got to connect. Oh, I see. I got to connect this way. Oh, brother. I got to. It has to be the same coast the whole way. Okay, you go Saudi Arabia then. I was flip flopping coast to coast, man. Then you got to go Jordan. And then you're there, right? Oh, brother. <laughs> Bahrain. Oh, come on. <laughs> Kuwait? Kuwait? How the fuck am I not connected, bro? You're missing one at the very beginning? What? You're right. Like, like Thailand is not connecting to Myanmar, bro. Of course it's not. What do you mean? It's all coast. It's 100% it's coast. Malaysia. Okay, that shit is filling in. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to keep this line unbroken. Okay, I understand. You can't skip coast to coast. I understand. I understand now. So because what I was going to do is like be like, boom, Sri Lanka, and then it connects, but it doesn't connect. So you have to connect here, which is Bangladesh. And then this is all going to fill in. And then we got to go Yemen and Oman and the UAE. What's the problem? What's the problem? Brother, the lines, the lines connect. They're, ad they're adjacent to each other. Do they though? What, what do you mean they don't, con is, is this another country? Or is this, because when I mouse over it, it says Saudi Arabia. So why does that shit say Saudi Arabia and it even makes a bold outline if it's not Saudi Arabia? It doesn't, it, it doesn't make any sense, man. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. I think they overcooked the weekly. There's too many like weird rules. If there's a, you, just me as a play tester, as a play tester... There's some UX issues. Like, um, I still, I, I, I get now that, like, no, I don't actually. Why, why was this not filled in, but it's Saudi Arabia? Because it's on the coast? Yeah, but it's on the coast. Like it's 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 filled in now. It's touching the coast because the coast goes through Qatar. But these are these are touching though. 
I don't understand. Like, can't I just... Like, I'm on the beach, right? And then, like, here's the border. Don't I just walk? I guess it's not even a border because it's the same country. Don't I just walk and then there's just, like, a kind of like an island next to me? I'm, it's not a limmy bit. I'm like... From my, from my understanding, this is the coast. It's a peninsula. Well, in my personal opinion then, zoom in, enhance please, enhance, 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 enhance. They won't let me enhance anymore. They shouldn't have a fucking space here that seems to indicate that it is not connected to the landmass. Go on Google Maps. You, you're providing a map to me as we speak. Why should I have to go somewhere else to source my maps when I'm at the map store? This one, maybe it's just this weekly. Me personally, I think this, this one weekly had a little UX UI issue. That's all I'm saying. Might, might just be a Qatar, Saudi Arabia thing, but I wouldn't worry about it because it's the last time you're ever going to see the Travel Weekly ever again. 9,000 people in chat understood. Honestly, 8,100 people here can't tie their shoes. There are 900 people who are very vocal. Probably 50 of them understood, and the other remainder were merely just echoing what the VIP said. That's the way mob dynamics work. That's why I got to come out with the fucking fists out here. Because if I, if I go, oh, sorry, chat, you're right. They just kill you and eat you. You got to fight for your life. You got to scare the rest of them. You got to go Rorschach mode on them. You got to go, I'm not logged in here with you. You're logged in here with me. I don't think it was, I, I think, you know what? Just for that Puck Doku, you're getting Puck Doku. You asked for it, you're getting it. Here you go. Oh, you didn't know fucking Boom Boom Bernie Jeffrey on played for Montreal and the Colorado Barons back in the day? 10 wins for a goalie in a season. Boom. Mike Vernon. That's a gimme. 10 wins for a goalie in a season. Eunice Corposalo. Just kidding, it's never happened. This is what fucking playing on the Columbus Blue Jackets does to a motherfucker. That's rough. You hate to see that. <laughs> this is what happens when you face 52 shots a night, 70 times a season. 10 wins for a goalie. Probably me personally, I'd have to go Manny Fernandez on that one. Maybe that's just me. The rest of these are impossible. <laughs> Mike Vernon. Mike Vernon definitely fits here. I respect uh, a goalie that rocks the CCM, man. Just the classic bucket. Doesn't even have like the Patrick Waugh angles on it or nothing. Like a puck can fit through there. It could fit through his, his eye hole. Rick Nash. A.K.A. Chris Pratt. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Ryan Reeves. I'm scratching my brain. I'm thinking. Flurry. Calgary, Detroit. Calgary, Detroit. It's a tougher one. It's a tougher one. Detroit, Columbus. You know what? My brain hurts. I think it's good enough. I'll take the I'll take the Nigerian flag today. I told Mike Vernon should have used them there. Fedorov is the gimme. Thomas Vanek never would have gotten it. Hey, this must be an easy one. At least everybody in the Best game it has a photo. That's a new one. One of them even has 2%, man. That's crazy. 
Well, Red Wings are like a blind spot, but they're kind of not a blind spot. The problem is that for the 15 years that they were dominant, they never traded with anybody. They just were the only team that had any scouts in Russia. So they were like, boom, guess what? You boom, you looking for this? Six new incredible Russians. Boom, you looking for this? Yeah, we're the only team that's ever been to Sweden. Little guy by the name of Nicholas Lidstrom. They never, they never had to trade, bro. Back in the pre-salary cap era. Now, you did have to arrange for like a middle-of-the-night exfiltration of the player from the Soviet Republic, but rules were a little different back then. Joaquin Phoenix, Julianne Moore, Sean Penn. Sean Penn, one word title, Milk. Sean Penn, three or more word title. I am Sam. This is going to be a high performer, I'll admit. Sean Penn, 1990 to 2010. Mystic River. I'm not a big pen head. So I, I, those are going to be the consensus choice, but we take those, okay? Julianne Moore, one word title. Gloria, Gloria, Gloria Bell, Gloria, Gloria Bell, Gloria Bell, Gloria Bell. It's two titles. It's two titles. Two words, two words. Okay, don't be, be careful with that one. One word title. Mm, Magnolia. Now, oh, I should have gone with... Uh, something else <laughs> I should have got with something else I thought that would be low I forgot Paul Thomas Anderson's got shooters three or more word title for Julianne Moore children of men children of men released from 1990 to 2010 blindness or as the people in the theaters described it blandness I think the kids are all right suck on that 12% one word title, ignore the. Okay. In that case, we will ignore the. The master. I'm not playing Joker. Paul Thomas Anderson's got shooters. Yeah, prove it. All right, he's still got a couple. Three or more word title. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot. Released from 1990 to 2010, Joaquin Phoenix. Of course, there's a gladiator in there. There's a her in there. Lots of stuff. What well, was some dog shit Joaquin Phoenix was in back in the day? The Village? The Village? He's in Signs. Maybe, maybe people forgot about Signs. I can't remember if he's in The Village. He is in The Village. Okay, well, top 23%. We'll take those. Pretty good. Pretty good. A, couple, a few most common pieces, but it happens. I love the movie ones. The Johnny Cash one, Walk the Line. Signs was dog doo doo. Wrong is Kino. Go ahead. Tell me about the plot holes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, the aliens are allergic to water. Why did they go to a fucking planet that's 70%? I don't, I don't care. It scared me at the time. You can't take, I can't refund my scares when I read a Reddit essay about the movie 10 years after it came out, okay? What, when you were 10? I was like 13. It was scaring adults in the theater too. The scene when the alien walks across the alley. It walks across the alley... The using the knife to see the reflection of the alien under the door. It couldn't possibly be aliens. Oh wait, there's a fucking alien in the in the in the house. The the just seeing the leg go into the cornfield, but you don't know what's going. He's M Night Shyamalan had the sauce, man. For a little bit, he had the sauce. Has no, I wouldn't go that far. He recovered some of the sauce. With Split, I think, but I don't think he has the sauce anymore. Oh, 
old was fun, too real for me. I'm already on the beach that makes you old. It's called Wreck Beach. Look it up. Don't use Google image search. Hang on. Select all images with a fire hydrant. Done. I've been verified. Emerge. A verb meaning to become manifest. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. Fantastically. A adverb meaning in a fantastic manner. Fan Rapids. A noun. We're going to the moon, man. Infirm. A adjective. Clipper. A noun meaning one that clips. God's strongest soldiers. Cautioned. A verb meaning to advise caution. Enunciate. A verb meaning to make a definite or systematic statement of. That one. I, I was 80% confidence on that one. Etude. A noun meaning a. Petrifying. A adjective meaning overwhelmingly. Fr you don't hear that anymore, petrifying. It's an antediluvian-ass word. Gluttonous. An adjective meaning marked by or... Grimaces. A noun meaning a fake... Meringue. A noun meaning a dessert... Ooh, we're popping. Floruit. A noun meaning a period of flourishing, as of a person or movement. Borrowed from Latin floruit, meaning prospered, flourished, from florer to bloom, prosper. Floruit. A noun meaning this a period of This is for all the marbles right here? As of a person. Oh. <laughs> no shot. That looked right to me, man. Rorschach. An adjective yeah, I'm meaning... I'm not locked in here with you! You're lo oh. Merrimack. A geographical name meaning river 110 miles. Think I'm not Canadian? I know all about the Merrimack, brother. Oh, I forgot a C, Rorschach. I thought this was a capture before the actual game. POV, you are on 10 grams of edible cannabis. Floruet? Come on. Still a pretty good daily. Ten grams? I meant ten uh, micrograms. Whatever. Allison Bree. And me in three years. It's probably horse girl. It's probably pitch perfect. I don't know. I don't know shit that Allison Bree. Wait, Mike and Dave need wedding dates? Okay, Will Arnett, Allison Bree, and me in three years. Um, um, baby mama, due date, due date, due date. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Elizabeth Banks, Will Arnett, Allison Bree, and me in three years. Lego, the Lego movie. That's the Lego movie, guys. His name's Emmett Brukowski. It must be like animated movie week at acted.com. I can't wipe the frown on my face when I say it, but it's Chris Pratt week here. POV, you're a Hollywood executive. It's Chris Pratt week at Universal Studios. We put that in everything. Frank's Red Hot Sauce crossover. Steve Carell, animated. Gru, Jack Black, animated. Kristen Wiig, animated. I don't know. I don't know that one. The rest of them I know. Jack Black, four plus words in title. How about, don't worry, he won't get far on foot. I saw that motherfucker in the poster when we played it in the previous game. That's him right there. Jack Black animated. Me personally, I'm a different kind of beast. I'll probably just type in animated. I go Kung Fu Panda 3. Everyone's thinking one or four because four just came out and one's the original. 
But if everybody's thinking one or four, you hit a Nash equilibrium, which pushes so much aggro to two, which is why I take three. Release date 05 to 2014. That's easy enough. Probably go with the holiday. Lots of, lots of wonderful... 27%?! Are you smoking crack? I should have thought about that one a little longer. People love the holiday. This fucking I just farted face. I love Jack Black. This is coming from a place of love. Shallow how? That shit came out in like 01, brother. Should have gone the Polka King. So true. Me, when I finally get a movie grid that's asking for Jack Black and Jenny Slate. Oh, the Polka King! Of course! This is pissing me off. 27%, that's pissing me off. Steve Carell, four plus words in title. The Rise of Gru. <laughs> Release date 05 to 2014. I gotta hit you with a Dan in real life on that one. Pancake movie. <laughs> what else were you thinking? I don't know what else. Steve Carell, four words in title. I'm like, big short. Fox catcher. He's a great actor, don't get me wrong. Beautiful boy. Like he doesn't, oh, the 40 year old virgin. That's gonna clear minions though. Despicable Me, three. You always go three, man. Oh, that's seeking a friend for the end of the world. That would have been a pull, man. Okay, Kristen Huig. Kristen Huig. Four plus words in title. Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. 59%?! 4 Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar? How many podcast listeners they got on this game? That's insane. That's crazy. <sighs> My hand's really going to come out here and play Bridesmaids. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Free Space on the bingo card. She's been in, she's in downsizing. That's not animated. Though they imagine they did probably use some CG, considering Matt Damon is about four inches tall. She's in Knocked Up. She is in Knocked Up. She plays Alan Tudyk's assistant in Knocked Up. Okay. The Lego Movie. It must be true. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Say it. Top 37% of players. Oh, Despicable Me. <laughs> Despicable Me, of course. Holiday. This shit's pissing me off. Yeah, yeah. We all know Chris Pratt is playing Mao Zedong in the Cultural Revolution movie from Disney. The, what I want to know is who the fuck is playing Chiang Kai-shek? Because I've always thought that that was like a Joel Edgerton role. Like he was built to play that role. Who the fuck is playing Chiang Kai-shek and Dr. Sat Yun Sen? And who the fuck is playing Deng Xiaoping, okay? The Rock is playing Deng Xiaoping? Oh, brother. Okay, but we could still, if we can get Bob Balaban as Dr. Sun Yat Sen, we could still save this man. Balaban has been hair maxing for this role his whole life. He's already got the glasses. Please, Bob Balaban is Dr. Sun Yat Sen. Oh, Kevin Hart. Oh, brother. You swap audiobooks? No, I just fucking know shit, bro. You just pick it up.
the cinema matrix. It's time to punish ourselves. I'm not doing Bertle. <laughs> Sorry, not cinema matrix. Actorly. This is where shit gets real. <clears throat> I named Bob Balaban and Sine two nerdle duels after a hundred rounds. It went off. I could I could tango with you with Bob Balaban, but only for a minute. So Bob Balaban, he's in um, Waiting for Guffman. He's in the Grand Budapest Hotel briefly as one of the other hoteliers, and he's got to be in another Christopher Guest movie. You could catch me throwing out maybe. Maybe he plays a, a, a judge in um, Best in Show. Did we get there? Close? I'll take it. He's in Ghost World? I gotta see that shit again. I knew Birch, Johansson, Buscemi. I believe Michael Pitt's in there as well. Big Lebowski, Iron Man. Call me crazy. I'm going to hit you with a little Jeff Bridges on that one. Iron Man 2 and Iron Man. That's a tough one. <laughs> That's tough, man. That's tough. Me personally, I probably first thing that comes to mind, I got to say, is Robert Downey Jr. probably. Jungle Book, Iron Man. I got to go John Favreau on that. Okay. Iron Man 2 and Iron Man. I was going to go John Favreau on this. I guess instead we'll pivot. We'll go a little sliding doors core. Okay. Pulp Fiction, Iron Man 2. Start, let's go. Let's start here. That's not a problem. We just got to think about it, okay? Oscar winning actor, actress from The Big Lebowski. There's no shot. Uh, John Goodman doesn't have an Oscar for something. What? I mean, you could always just say Jeff Bridges, I suppose, at the end of the day. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman ever win an Oscar? Let's check. We're here. Might as well check. Okay. Iron Man 2, Oscar-winning actor-actress. We got to go Robert Downey Jr. on that one. Jungle Book, Oscar-winning actor-actress. I don't know who's in this. At all. I have no idea. I had to take a peek. I had to take a peek. Okay, Pulp Fiction, Iron Man 2. You got Mickey Rourke. Is it possible Mickey Rourke is in Pulp Fiction? I don't believe so. You got Robert Downey Jr., you do not have John Travolta. You have Sam Rockwell. You have Gwyneth Paltrow. You have... All right, that's tough. This is a tough one. How about... Mm, mm, maybe Patricia Arquette made a cameo. Maybe um, um, Samuel L. Jackson shows up as Nick Fury. Okay, easy. Pulp Fiction, Big Lebowski... Maybe Patricia Arquette shows up briefly. Maybe Tim Roth is a bowler. What about John Turturro? John Turturro is not in Pulp Fiction. Any chance Ving Rhames? They don't, I forgot that, brother. This is relevant. They don't have Ving in this. Can I get, can I get Ving Rhames' uh, like real name so, they, so I can put him in? Irving... Irving... <laughs> Any percent vingless? It's not here, man. It's not here. It's not here. No, brother. <laughs> yes, I would like to give up. Fucking brain fuck ass string at the end you want me to copy. Steve Buscemi. Who is Steve Buscemi in Pulp Fiction? He's the waiter. Jack Rabbit Slim's waiter. That's crazy because I watched the movie. 
I mean, I'd seen him many times before. I watched it like six months ago. Didn't even notice. He's dressed as Buddy Holly. That's fucked, brother. That's a that's a type. I I would have paid even closer. I was already paying close attention because it's Kino, but. If I'd known it was going to come back to bite me in the ass six months later, I would have paid closer attention. And I just, I mean, I don't know anything about the Jungle Book 2016. I'll just be honest with you. Okay, it was fun, though. I forgot Food Guesser. We can't leave without Food Guesser, bro. That movie's long as fuck. Yeah, it's a treat. It's good. This is a ham sandwich, man. Are they mocking me? After I complained about, like, Food Guesser being too hard, they're hitting me with a bologna sandwich. Bologna, bread, mayonnaise, mustard, lettuce, and tomato. Um, the United States of America. Bologna sandwich. It can be found on the menus of diners, delis, and sandwich shops across the United States. Let me stop you right there, chat GPT. No, it fucking can't. I'm not saying it doesn't exist at all on the menus of diners and delis and sandwich shops, but it's, it's going extinct, okay? It's very rare these days you go to a, a restaurant and they're like, they got a bologna sandwich on the menu. This is fucked. What the fuck am I looking at? It's an eldritch horror. It's one of those AI-generated images that's like, Hey, check, can you help me find this thing in my room? But then, like, your eyes can't actually make an object out of anything? What is this? Barley flour, water, and salt. What's the red, man? <laughs> What's the red? What is it? What's the red, man? It looks like a damn blister. This is eldritch. I mean, some countries got to take the fall. I'm sorry. I'm just going to start me out with the with a Ghana maybe and then we'll see where we That's cool, okay? Traditionally a stiff porridge like substance in a round shape with a hole in the middle filled with red peppers. Oh, you might describe those as ingredients, maybe then. That's just my two cents. Oh no? Okay, never mind. Not that it would have changed my guess necessarily, but Turkey? I don't know. No offense, Turkey. Name is Genfo. Yemen, that's hot, Saudi Arabia, that's warm, Oman, that's warm, it's Genfo from Eritrea and Ethiopia, I mean that, the picture there is, it's, it's everything about it, it's the, the JPEGness of it, it's the red pool in the center. But the thing that really triggers the amygdala for me is the forks floating in space. I get that they're under something, so it's like elevating the fork. But it looks like some alien food. I'm not, it's not the food, it's the framing of the image. And like the, the fact that all the forks are in it in like a circle, like it's like a ritualistic, like a cult thing or something. I don't know, man. Squid, pork, soy sauce, pear juice. Pear juice usually equals Korean. I mean, I guess this, this could just be like a simple Ojinga Dupbop or something like that. I, this looks like South Korea to me. Osam Bulgogi, my mistake, my mistake. By the way, any, any native Korean speakers in chat? Not my ass getting lit up, okay? Because I... Uh, someone at, at our in-laws says, what's the Korean word for octopus? And my ass, stupid as fuck, says nakji, because that's what I always learned. My wife and my wife's sister start going off on me. Nakji, nakji. Nobody says nakji, bro. Everybody says mona. 
I didn't know. I've been, I've been looking at Nak G on menus for like 15 years. They got two words for octopus. So I used the wrong one. They patched it. Now they started to tell me, like when I had learned a little bit of Korean, they were like, you know, octopus is nakji. Then I was speaking to people that speak Korean and they're like, nakji only means the little octopuses. Why are they trying to divide us, man? Anyway, <laughs> the dolls, squid, squid's ojinga, bro. Don't get me started on squid. You think I don't know squid? You think I don't know Osam Bulgogi? I can already see that my wife is live. I'm going to send you over there. Is there a word for big squid? Yeah, Ojinga Da. That's a little joke for the Korean speakers amongst us. Explain it? No. Do it? Okay, it means more squid. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye.